the post. It's a beautiful goal. I'm sure this is completely genuine. Yes. This can't be happening. Is a fantastic half pitch goal. To our winners of the first ever Beauty Wardles Master Sidemen FC, the Sidemen! Hello and welcome to the Sidemen versus YouTube All Stars charity football match here from Charlton FC. We have got an absolutely beautiful day down here at the stadium. The entire stadium is sold out, 27,000 people sold out in five days. We've raised over £200,000 already for the charity of choice, which is Childline. It's going to be an incredible day. I know you guys are really, really keen to see it, especially after last year, which was incredible, I have to say. So I'm joined on the pitch by our commentators for the day, Mr. Joe Wellia and Elliot Crawford. Guys, how are you doing? Julia, how's it going? This is so cool. Absolutely right? unbelievable. I'd say, I said it on Twitter, it's the biggest day in UK YouTube history. And Absolutely. Um, it's mental that we're part this of it. Mate. Unreal. The Sidemen have like sold out an entire stadium. Yeah. So we, I, we're reckoning we're chatting about this. This has probably got to be the largest crowd for a football match with non-professional footballers. 100%. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. And the fact that like, they, yeah, they're not even footballers and the fact that they're able to do this is, it is unbelievable. I just, yeah, it's just, I can't believe it, really. Yeah. Everyone's so buzzed. I, like, I've never never heard so much screaming in yeah. all my life. Exactly. That's the thing, the fans are always up for it. The other charity, charity matches we've done, the fans, they're always so loud. And that's what adds it even more. Yeah. yeah. The match oh. hasn't even started yet. It's not even fully full up. Yeah. And they're already making yeah. a ridiculous amount of noise. It's an incredible so turnout. I, I think we should talk a little bit about, obviously, last year, yeah. where we were, we were all there, 7-2. Which is, I mean, I would watch more football matches if yeah. there were more goals. Yep. I'm just saying that. That was absolutely incredible. Obviously, you were playing. I, I want to ask the question, like, what, what's going on? Why aren't you playing? Were you relegated? What was so, happening? So I'm not playing today because I'm injured. I've just had a knee surgery, so I'm out for one year. But I'm not actually that bothered about it because <laughs> to do something like this with my mate, to commentate on it, it's going to be just as fun, I think. Are you going to have any, like, catchphrases you're going to work in? Catchphrases? Uh, we'll see what happens. I don't know. Is we just have, we just have our normal lingo. There's obviously going to end up coming out. Yeah. Okay. But other, we don't have anything specific. If people are watching it at home yeah. and they want to uh, play a fun game, like a bingo game, what catchphrases are you going to go to? What you're going apart to? from the fact, <laughs> we'll okay. say that many times. Every time we say, apart from the fact, <laughs> bloody eat a sandwich. <laughs> also, realistically, up? yeah, something like that. But yeah, anyways, <laughs> exciting. Realistically. What's so, next? So you're not, you're not. Too, I mean, obviously you scored last yeah. year, so you're a little bit sad that you're not going to. Yeah, 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 what did it feel like though? Scoring, obviously, unbelievable feeling. Like when everyone's like celebrating and like you hear the noise, and obviously you're so happy that uh, you've scored and stuff. But obviously, we lost, and I was so gutted about that. Like so gutted. Yeah, but you scored. Yeah, but it's it's a team game. You know what I mean? And that's the thing. I will say, last time I feel like the teams were. A little bit uneven, but well, yeah, it was seven two. It was very, very yeah. Uneven. But look, looking at it today, like honestly, it looks it, it looks quite even. So it could go either way, I reckon. It's definitely a lot more even matchup yeah. this time. You like uh, going into it, I was thinking maybe the sidemen might have a slightly better team. But when you actually when you actually see them all laid out, it is very close. Yeah, you've got. Very close. Like, I'd like to say, watch out for Marcus Butler. The geezer, he's not really in this sidemen world as much as uh, some of them, but he is a footballer and he can do bits. Yeah. Um, as well, Deji, we don't even know if the kid can play football. He might be a little star man, but we just don't know. And Josh the, Peters, I reckon, as well. Josh, Josh Peters, Peters, Peters as well. He's got height, solid at the back, he's got strength, and he's been pinging them in for fun. He's so been that pinging is, them in for fun. And that is what I'm saying. Like We just don't know what's going to happen, and that is the beauty of it, Julia. The That's only thing is they've got a very, very solid defence as well, though. 
exactly, yeah. You've I suppose look... we should talk a little bit about the fact that um, obviously this year uh, they've kind of, it's not just like obviously, you know, you're, you're not playing, some other people have been kind of like swapped out, but actually we've seen some like straight swaps. It's turning, yeah, it's, it's yeah, been yeah. So what do we call that? Is, is that, do you think it's just because it was so one-sided last year? They were like, right, let's try and even yeah, it yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Was there a both. meeting around a table? How did this happen? Um, well, obviously we don't know too much about that. I know that the side men guys are the ones that pick the teams um, and they've decided to, I guess make changes, there's been injuries, there's been illnesses and things like that. And yeah, I do think they have look, looked at it and gone, we need to make these these teams a little bit more even so that the game is as, I don't know. It's like a, you want a heavyweight fight, not just sort of like a street fight that's gonna be all one-sided, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. the fact that they've given the YouTube All-Stars Hugh Wizzy is massive as yeah, well, because exactly. he's a very solid goalkeeper. They've got, yeah, they've given him their goalkeeper solid in goal. They've got a guy that's never played in goal in an 11 side match in his life in what? Charlie Morley. Yeah, yeah. He's never done it before. The way he'll be tested, like the way he'll be tested is one on ones, I think, because in videos and stuff, set pieces, he's great at saving set pieces. But I don't know what he'll be like in a one on one situation. Like if if Chris MD's one on one with Charlie Morley, exactly. Exactly. That's I don't know thing. what will happen. He's never been in that scenario before where he's had to deal with these sort of things. Hugh Wizzy has, so that's going to be interesting. So, I mean, we should also have a little bit of a chat about Joe. Joe, Sug, is like, oh, Joe well. Sug. oh, yeah, no, that's devastating. He must be gutted about that. Yeah, no, no, and the kid loves it. Like, last time when I played with him, he was on my team, and he's he, he loves the crowd, he loves getting involved. So the fact that he's at home ill, it's going to be gutting, but he's going to be supporting his team, I know for sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it must be kind of really sad. So, OK, who's your money on this year? <laughs> go, go first, mate. I, I don't know. It's difficult. It is very difficult. I think, I reckon the YouTube All-Stars could actually take it. Because oh. I think they'll be, the side men will be thinking, ah, not to worry, we'll win easy. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, like the side men have psychologically, they've gone, oh, we won last time easily. That can almost install some complacency into, into the team's yeah. minds. And these guys in the, the All-Stars, they've got a thing to prove. I think, honestly, they might be a little bit more up for it. I've gone into both changing rooms. <laughs> Where are you going with this? I'm saying the sidemen <laughs> guys are seeming a little bit more relaxed. Ah. Whereas the All-Stars in, like bloody Cal Freeze, he's a tactician. He's saying we're playing 4-2-3-1, I believe. He's, he's getting his message out there okay. and I believe they're really on it. Okay, yeah. well, we shall see and we I shall, shall hold you to that. Because, yeah. uh, uh, right, well, thanks to you guys. You're going to go up to your commentation yep. booth. And uh, first up, we've got a VT from the captains looking back at last year's match. All event, all event uh, was insane. Just thinking about the atmosphere last time, I ended up waking up at about 6 a.m. I actually went into uh, Southampton town and just walked around for a while because we couldn't sleep. So this year I don't expect to get any sleep either. The final score was 7-2. Yeah, so you know, there was, a, there was a fair bit of goal difference in there. So I'm hoping this year we can sort of squash that, even just by one goal, that, that's a success, that's an improvement. And then next thing you know, in five years, it'll be a draw. Actually, in the first half, it was actually all right. Um, we did pretty well, we were unlucky. Chris uh, missed a penalty in the first half. Would have maybe set us up for a different story. We ended the second half a little bit disappointed we weren't leading. Cuffries, he plays the ball in, Heads. it's headed on. And it's a great chance, it's, it's off, off the ball! ball. But, um, yeah, the main onslaught actually happened in the second half. Mani, Mia, it's Mani. 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 it's off the ball, it's, it's in! Yeah. 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 He's going to cross it in, it. it's in, it's and it's surely in again! Manny's goal sticks in my head. Oh, it's been skinned! Oh, and he skinned the keeper! This is cut! This is cut! The moment. He was just, he was so hyped about it that he just kind of, he ran off like, kind of like this kind of thing. There's, there's no words for that kind of goal. Mini Minter, ball goes through, oh, and it's oh, rip, the ripples the, the net. From Mini Minter, I really thought the keeper had that. Oh, oh my God. That oh is a fantastic half-pitch goal. People are banging on about Rashford. What about this kid? The whole actual experience of the entire event and obviously having all the fans there, it was absolutely unreal. When you walk out of the tunnel, there was, there was no one in front of us uh, facing from the tunnel. 
So you kind of walk out and you're kind of, oh, this isn't too bad. And then everyone just cheers and it's, it's insane. So that atmosphere is amazing. Obviously this year is the whole stadium. So I can't even imagine what that's going to be like. We've settled on a 4-2-3-1 formation. Sticking with the 4-4-2. We've changed our goalkeeper. They've obviously got Hugh Wizzy this year. And he's probably going to look for the shot, and he does so! Oh, Hugh oh! Wizzy pushes it onto the bar. That's a little bit of a worry that they have Hugh, but we've got uh, Charlie Morley, who we know is very good in goal. We don't know about a full match. The main tactic I've sort of dr driven home to the players is let's not concede seven. And I think once we get past that, it, you know, it should come a little bit easier. But quite a few of the players are, are, are more fit and ready this year. I'm gonna go with four, three to the YouTube All-Stars. Five, three to us. As long as I don't fall over, this year's a success. But my main, my main aim this year is get Vic a goal. That's it, I'm gonna just aim to win a penalty and then put Vic on it. That's the tactic. So this year obviously uh, has been just an incredible achievement already with uh, selling out the stadium. I think it's already set to sort of raise £200,000 for charity, which is absolutely mind-blowing. Uh, so this year we went with the club's charity, the Charlton Athletic Community Trust, and then we've also gone with Childline. You know, when we meet our fans and stuff, we get a lot of uh, thanks because like videos may have helped them through hard times, things like that. And it kind of felt fitting that we go with Childline, who kind of can help with these these situations. There should be a link which pops up somewhere here. There we go. Um, so yeah, make sure you guys just uh, go ahead, donate. We would really appreciate it all. And yeah, I don't even have words to say how grateful we all are for everyone's donations. Take us through your goals last year. Do we go through all seven or? Ah, uh, do we have time? <sighs> Cow, do we have time? No. Yeah. Cow is sitting right here, by the way. So. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, welcome back. Now, of course, this is all about raising money for charity. Like I said before, we've raised over £200,000 so far. If you'd like to donate during this stream, go to justgiving.com forward slash sidemenfc. Let's see if we can make it a quarter of a million. That sounds like a nice round number. Now, the reason why we're doing this is for an incredible cause, and the cause is Childline. And I'm here with Emily Cherry, who's actually from Childline, to tell us a little bit more about it. So. Emily, well, first of all, thank you so much for coming down and having a chat with us. So to be here for Childline in the UK and for the Charlton Athletic Community Trust so we can generate so much awareness about what we do and help more children. So everyone who's come, everyone who's supporting, you are doing something amazing for children. So now I know a lot of people, you know, obviously they've heard the name Childline before, but what is it particularly the campaign that you're looking to sort of promote today? So here in the UK, a child contacts Childline every 25 seconds, and we want to get to every call, and you're helping us do that. But particularly, we're really focusing on boys. Boys are much more likely to feel suicidal and attempt suicide, but they're six times less likely to get support. We want to change that, and we want to encourage more boys to speak to us or speak to a trusted adult. So we've got a new campaign film called Tough to Talk, which will help you. I mean, mental health is one of the, 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 you know, the best things, the most important things that you can do for yourself. And it is actually something that you have to take care with and actually really work at and not let yourself kind of slip down a uh, kind of slope. Um, I mean, how did the sort of, uh, how did the company come about, you know, working with the Sidemen? So Sidemen, obviously, massive in young people's lives. You know, YouTube and football, really big and important things. So it was just great that they wanted to support this incredible charity, Childline, and be able to reach out to more children. Four pounds answers a call to Childline. So if you can have and donate another four pounds on the Just Giving page, you will be doing something incredible and helping a child who really needs us the most. Now, um, say perhaps uh, someone has a friend that they're worried about. Can you, could you call up Childline for a friend, effectively? Is that, is that something you can do? It, it absolutely is. So um, friends can ch call Childline, friends of friends can call Childline. Anyone can speak to us if they're worried about anyone. And also we have a parents line as well. So we've got an NSPCC helpline as well for parents. But whatever your worry, if it matters to you, it matters to Childline in the UK. Um, so would you like to, I think it'd be quite important to maybe like remind everyone of what the number is, because it is actually super simple to, uh, super to remember. So the telephone number is so super simple, it's 0800 1111 or you can contact us at childline.org.uk or you can also download our app which is called For Me and you'll find it in the app store.
Fantastic. Well, look, thank you so much for joining us. And remember, uh, don't forget to go to justgiving.com forward slash Sidemen FC. And I think we have a video here of all the wonderful things that Childline does. So, uh, yeah, we are here. The guys, as you can see, look over here. Good luck, everybody. How are you feeling? I'm good. I'm doing good. I'm absolutely terrified at the same time, but yeah. uh, we're doing okay. What about you? Are you excited? This is great. I mean, they've stood up the entire stadium. Yeah, and it's quick. And it's how long till kick off now? How long we got? I don't know, like, I don't know, like 10, I don't know, I don't know something like that. It's pretty crazy, the fact that this is all just from making videos in my bedrooms and now. It, like, because you see the view count and you never really, it's so hard to put it into your head. But then here it is, I suppose, yeah. I mean, how do you fancy your chances? I feel like the, the teams are much more evenly yeah, matched yeah, this year. I think, I think our physicality will come in hand. Maybe, not, maybe not for myself, but uh, I think we've got a couple of big lads. If we've got ourselves about there and get in the box, I think we should be all right. I don't think there'll be a, as big a scoreline this year. I think we've got a solid defence. That's us conceding eight now, isn't it? But Who do you think is going to be a sneaky, really good player? Oh, that's a shout. Oh, sneaky. Uh, JMX, hard to get off the ball. He's absolutely massive bloke. I go for yeah, I go, I go for Joel. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Um, I don't know. Like, what do you what do you hope to think? I mean, do you know how much money we've raised so far? How much is it? So it's about two hundred grand so far. Oh yeah. So uh, would you like to ask everyone to go to the JusticGiving.com? Oh, oh yes. If you are watching the stream, if you could help out, it's for a great cause. I mean, it's it's for stuff like this which allows us to do things like this. So if you could get down, that'd be a massive help. And uh, I'll see you in a bit. I'll head in. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, good. Yeah, I, I I'm so happy. Oh, uh, I want to thank my mum, my dad, not JJ, he sucks, but you know, yeah, thank you, I love this, oh, you guys are awesome, hi, bye, yeah. There you have it, see, quality, quality interviewing there for me, um, yeah, well look guys, um, we're going to start in the match in a few minutes, like I say, go to the justgiving.com page, uh, at, uh, uh, forward slash uh, Sidemen uh, FC and donate, which would be really, really fantastic. I'm so excited to see this match. I want to know whether it's going to be a grudge right till the end. Are the YouTube All-Stars going to take it? Now, just one final thing before we go, we've been talking about who's like some of the best players. How well do you know your side men? How well do you know the YouTube All-Stars? Do you reckon you could call who's going to be man of the match? Now, if you reckon you can, you could be up for winning a prize to go to the UK premiere of the Mummy movie with Tom Cruise. You're going to get two tickets. All you've got to do is tweet at Sideman FC with the name of the person you think is going to be man of the match. And that's going to be called by our commentators, which is a wonderful segue to throw over to them and get this match underway. Hello. Wait, are we live? I believe so. Right. Good evening, boys and girls, ladies oh, and gentlemen. There we are. Wait, we're on the screen. Right. Hello, I'm Joe. I'm Elliot. And here we are today. You are... Oh, God, I've messed up already. Right, basically... <laughs> You're I'm, shambles. I just am. Basically, we are your commentators today. Correct. Elliot, mate, how excited are you? Oh, gassed. 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 We're here. Charlton Athletic Stadium. Entire crowd. Full up. It's mad. Yeah, man. Obviously, like I tweeted out earlier, this is the biggest day in UK YouTube history. And it's mental that we're a part of it. And seeing it like, obviously, we do a lot of what we do over screens and seeing it all live like this. So many people. Mental. It's going to be nuts. 
The atmosphere is already nuts, so I can't imagine when the first goal goes in. Oh, jeez. Who's that going to be from? Any predictions? See, at this point, mate, my predictions are the teams are even. Oh, look, 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 look. We got there the we go. The teams here. are even. Let's look at you. Wait, yeah, let's oh, look at this Charlie lineup. We've got Morley and goal. Remember that. Never yeah. played an 11 aside match, but very good in videos. Yeah, It'll so here, we, here we have the side men team. Now, obviously, you take a look at that. Vic Star 1 2 3 is starting. Now, he is a key boy, right? Look at him. Um, obviously, Simon as his supporting man, I think they can do anything. Um, very, very solid defence. Yeah, and, I that, think. and that is the point I want to stress. This team all the way through, they have got, they've got ability all the way through. FIFA Manny is one you want to look out for. And Toby. And Toby, the brothers, they've got that chemistry. Whereas a lot of this All-Stars team, they have been slung together in a way. Definitely, like, definitely. Like, look, if you, like, even the fact that these two are going to be demand like demanding balls from the back, sending them forwards, as long as Simon can put them away, they're laughing. Yeah, and obviously at the back, you talk about that hard defence. Poet and, wait, who's the other one? It's gone. Poet and Harry. It was Poet and Harry. Basically, yeah. Poet and Harry. Them two. Um, Harry, every time I've played in a match against him, he's had me in his back pocket, let's be honest. Right, he, he's a great defender. They're both um, very solid centre And then backs. Poet, he just knows what he's doing. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, fully. in the Wembley Cup when I played against him, he was doing things like, Pinching my bottom. No, he wasn't. No, he was. No, he the wasn't. Whole, no, he was. He, <laughs> no, you've made that up. No, no, no. He does it. You want to Poet to pinch your bottom. No, no, no. You need to be quiet because what, basically what he does oh, is... Oh, wait, look, look, look. Bruv, wait, let me say what I'm saying. Go. He, he does it to distract you. He's a very tactical defender. And I think he's going to pose problems. Especially, you look at this team. Hugh Wizzy and goal for starters. Yeah. Very solid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, they've, uh, they've transferred Hugh Wizzy onto the All-Stars team, which, fair enough, like, they, they now have a very, very solid goalkeeper. But that defence is what I'm worried about, mate. What did have they done on JMX there? Yeah, wait, wait, bruv. That defence. Oh, that defence. Tall. It's tall, but I don't know if it has the ability to Ali. deal with the likes. I don't think it has the ability to deal with the likes of Simon and Manny and Toby. Realistically, who's against Ali there? Uh... That'll be Toby. Yeah, like Toby Jizzle, his pace is going to be way too much. And the thing is, <sighs> obviously you've got... Bro, look how much I'm sweating, by the way. It's very warm What's in up this commentary there? box. It is boiling in here. <laughs> but what I'm saying is they've got, they've got some ability in attack. They've got Chris MD, Marky Butt Butty can play ball. But it's that defence that I'm worried about for the All-Stars. Just, it just doesn't look like something that's got a, a lot of experience but also knows what they're doing. I just don't think half of them even play football. Hugh Wizzy is going to be after. Yeah, have to he's going to have to do down. a lot of talking, okay. but um, we'll see. Obviously, you've got all these different, different things to come, um, come into play. Um, the crowd, who do you think they're going to be on the side for? Because obviously, this is a YouTube day, but it is a Sidemen event. I'm seeing a lot of Sidemen FC shirts. Yeah. Though I'm not sure, are they selling the YouTube ones? <laughs> well, they're only selling the Sidemen ones. I, I haven't seen anyone in YouTube ones. Oh, so this, and this is the other thing I want to I wanna say. Like obviously, the Cybermen are obviously deploying tactics such as this. They're only letting people buy their merchandise, no YouTube All-Stars merchandise. I'm looking around and there is a lot of Sidemen merch. Yeah, it's actually unbelievable. In that as well, they pick the teams. You know what I mean? So like they're picking who they're against, which is a bit, I don't know. Have they, have they picked better players for, their, for themselves? We're going to find out. Um, the teams look pretty even in my, in my view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but right now, Ellie Flips, I want to ask you one little question. What's that, Joseph? Who is going to be the first scorer? Guys, tweet us in. Who do you think is going to be the first scorer Ooh, in this match? That's interesting. That's um, interesting. Obviously, Elliot, over to you. Who do you think it's going to be? I reckon we're going to get one put away from Chris MD early doors. Early doors, Chris MD. I reckon, I reckon yeah. YouTube All-Stars are going to go ahead first yeah. because I think Sidemen FC are going to be thinking we won last year by a lot. Yeah. It's going to be easy, and I don't think it will be. And I think, yeah, Chris, yeah. what are you saying? Um, I, I'm actually favouring um, Marcus Butler. Yeah? Straight up, he's got no pressure on him. No one here is really like, like this is a Sidemen game. He's not really from the sort of Sidemen, that sort of YouTube world. He's got mm -hmm. no real pressure, and I think he's going to be a focused boy. Um, obviously, we do need to uh, touch on this, the whole reason why we're doing this football match, and that is for... The Childline Charity. Correct. So, boys and girls, we do want to say and emphasise, if you can, please donate. That would be unreal. Obviously, that's making these sort of days possible. So, go ahead. It's for a great cause. Go to the Just Giving page and yeah, yeah, yeah. The links, can. the links are all going to be in the description. But, yeah, make sure you get on that because it is a bloody good reason to get involved. You know what I mean? Um, but it's the yeah, whole reason we're here. It is the whole reason we're here. 
Right, what's the time? We've got five minutes till kickoff. Well, has got a new watch and he loves whipping it out. <laughs> no, no, it's just quite <laughs> handy. You, you, you even looked at it in the screen. You're like, what's the time? No, no, no. <laughs> it's just I've discovered it's actually quite handy. That is what they're made for. Yeah, but I, like, I just thought it would get in the way. But yeah. Anyways. Right. Realistically, mate, I've made an effort here. Why are you dressed like your bloody guy in gymnasium? That's all I want to know. I have gone for the... like. I, if we were managers... You're, you're, the, you're, you're wearing, the Arsene Wenger, I'm the Jurgen Klopp. You're wearing you know a I'm Versace like? chain. I'm what a, are you on about? I'm a stylish Jurgen Klopp. <laughs> Basically, boys and girls. Um, yeah, there's the difference. Anyways, right, the stadium is very much filling up um, ahead of us. Look at it. Everyone's getting ready. The flags, the people, everyone's buzzing. Oh, someone's mum just stuck their tongue out. Oh. Well, shout out to all the parents that have brought their children here today. Yeah, obviously, oh God, that's something that does need to stop. Look at these, they're dabbing. Oh no, that's Bruv. so that's so last year. Ah, uh, but um, at least it shows that they're excited. You know what I mean? They're right? excited. Oh, what's going on here? She's they... very interested in the game. Look at the geezer; he's loving it. Look at that haircut. Wait, so are those, are those two lovers? Do you reckon? Bro, is that mum and dad? Yes, yes. I reckon that's it. Yeah. But all I'm saying is that, like, obviously these guys, these parents, they bring their kids. But I actually think a lot of them deep down they fancy Simon Mini Minter. You know what I mean? Everyone does. It's, um, yeah, it's evident, obviously. you sit, Yeah, it's bloody hot in here, isn't it, mate? It's scalding. Can we get a fan? No? Oh, yeah, that would be, that'd be ideal. Like, I'm sweating my head off. Or just like it? a couple of people with big leads. Yeah, the game ain't even started, style. mate. And I'm already absolutely <laughs> sweating. You're sweating and you're not playing. In it? That's what I'm saying. Um, it's a bit off the rails. Um, but, yeah, at the end of the day, how many people are here? 27,000 7, boys and girls. Look at the state of these young boys. It is absolutely crazy out here. The atmosphere is electric. Everybody's up for it. Look at them. I mean, is it? Wait, it is sold out, right? Like, those seats are going to be filled, right? <laughs> I think so. I think so as well. But regardless, like, it is an unbelievable turnout. Just even. Oh, uh, look, we've got a little Mexican wave thing going on now. Oh, oh, they I thought you them. were about to reference who we're seeing as. I thought you were saying she's Mexican. <laughs> no, no, we've got a, a Mexican woman. No, 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 no. No, we have got. Um, Obviously, a lot of fan participation early on. I mean, you saw bloody Deji taking free kicks leading up to the game just in a in the bloody warm up, and they were going mental. <laughs> so I <laughs> even though he think, was missing every single one, he was one. bloody hitting them in Rose Ed, but it didn't matter. They were loving it. <laughs> um, but yeah, boys, um, and more about more about this actual game. Like, I don't know what we're going on about. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just that suddenly dawned on me. It's like. Are we talking oh, about the game? Are we talking sweating. about Deji taking free kicks? Right. Um, so, yeah, back to this game. I honestly think, I'm saying it right now, the score is going to be 17-12. All right? Uh, that's what I'm saying. What do you reckon? I reckon it's going to be a solid 8-7. Eight, 8-7. Seven. Eight, seven. Um if it turns... I mean, the one thing I think we both established that it's going to be a high-scoring game. It's going to be a high-scoring game. I think everyone's... Going, oh, and the players are coming out right now, boys and girls. Look at it. Here we Led go. Led by the referees. The place is going absolutely crazy. I wonder how they're going to play, the referees. Yeah. They, I mean, they may have a big call, but this is why we get professionals in to do the job right. Cal Freezy, look at him. He's focused. And here we have Maru Anfellini. He's a great boy. Look at the state of him. <laughs> Oh, Hugh Wizzy's well up for it, and he is a good boy. Obviously, playing for the YouTube All-Stars this team, he was playing for Sidemen last year. Correct. Obviously, there you can see on your screens the two captains. They are friends right now, but you know the second that whistle goes, it's all gums blazing. Oh, and as you... As you who's got... Sorry, he's wearing goggles, mate. Why is Deji wearing bloody ski oh, goggles? he has glasses, doesn't he? No. Wait, sorry, this guy's an absolute lunatic. He can't play football like that. I think he's going to. And he's, I believe he's down as number one as well. Oh, there you go. He's number one and he's playing right midfield. That's how it works, isn't it? <laughs> Wait, what's Hugh Wizzy then? Hugh Wizzy's number 30. He's, he's been reduced to 30. Yeah, and obviously JME, he's, uh, he's number four, but the four is upside down. Oh, wait, so we got two fours on that team then? Oh, I don't know. Because Josh is four too. There's been a bit of a sham. Was bad. Oh, yeah, we got see. Little Yachty. Yeah, FIFA Manny's got a new haircut. JME, KSI. Oh, wait, how long's KSI going to keep up this act? Realistically, <laughs> bruv, <laughs> just crack a smile. Like, what's going on? <laughs> Nobody knows. Um, but here you have. Who's this geezer? Oh, he, oh, he loves it. He loves it. There you go. Oh, look, Freezy. 
Oh, he freezing. gave the little wink, but he's he's very serious. There you go. All these boys, they're now fully switched Josh on. Josh Peters standing next to Chris MD, looking at, making him look very small. Yeah, um, obviously all these guys very focused. We were we were all together pre-match, but these boys... Oh, look, there's Chip. What's he holding? He's got a towel. Honestly, I reckon Chip's going to be a, a, a bit of a wild card. Yeah? I reckon I, he could bag himself a goal, mate. I mean, that's the thing, and that's what I love about these sort of games. Anything is possible. Um, it's whoever wants it more, I believe. Look at these crazy what about, fans. What about Will Any? I, I have no idea what his uh, football skill is like. Me neither. And that is that is the thing. A lot of uh, a lot of uh, well, us and the viewers at home aren't too like clued up on uh, a lot of these uh, boys' abilities. So we're all going to find out. Um, one thing we all know is that these boys they are soaking it in. Like I know each and every one of them are absolutely like flabbergasted at the fact that this is even possible through making YouTube videos. So once again, everyone at home, thank you so much for your support. And don't and forget to try and donate if you can, because yeah. that's why we're here. That's what we're here for. Yeah, let's keep that going. Obviously, the target's already... what the, They've already raised like over 200k. Do you know yeah, that? It's, it's mad, It is it? absolutely mad. off the rails, but that is the power that you guys have. You are honestly a bloody strong force. So we're moments away from kickoff. Everyone's going bloody rowdy. And who's that man? Like, who is that? I don't know, some man in a suit. Um, is he like a manager? Does he own the ground? I don't know. Um, but yeah, boys and girls, um, uh, just to emphasise again, we are at the Chal Charlton Athletic Stadium, the Valley, on this bright summer day. Um, and this is, this is just one of those moments you really got to take in. You know, look at the boys. They love each other. Simon Minter with the, the Philip Schofield-esque haircut. Yeah, like what's Silver that? Silver Fox. It's because he, he said he'd do it for a certain amount of donations. Oh, what, well, he'd dye his hair? And, that's, and then Toby did the same thing, but with a higher amount. That's yeah, why Toby's yeah. got pink hair. Yeah, look out for that, guys. <laughs> You're about to see Toby Jizzle with pink slash purple hair. Oh. You've got Charlie Morley there, who's never played in goal in his life. A lot of pressure on it, that kid's shoulders. And here you have Toby Jizzle. He's a great boy. And Harry, Harry, obviously familiar with a football video. Yeah, he loves a bit Can of football. Can he whip it out on the pitch today? We'll have to find out. There we go. And here we go. Kanye West, no, it's KSI. Hashtag crack um, a smile KSI. He's been in Ghana, hasn't he? Yeah, he has. He's been, he's been trying to find himself, apparently. Yeah, apart from the fact, why don't you just find a camera and actually make a YouTube video, mate? Nah, actually, I'm one to talk. I don't, I don't really upload. <laughs> Wait, but... <laughs> But <laughs> realistically, everyone's so bloody excited. And so am I. I can't wait to see who is going to perform. Obviously, Poet there. Always solid. He is. Always oh. passionate. Poet's always passionate. Same with Vooj. Same with Vooj. Here we go. The boys are having a little team photo. And why not? You want to make some serious memories of, of days like this. Bro, I still can't believe what I'm seeing with my eyes. Look at this stadium. Yeah. Fill up of YouTube fans for a bloody U football match. And they've put us in charge of talking over the game. Oh, God. Um, but yeah, we're going to see what happens. Who reckons this stadium might be haunted? Like, it it's might be. It's quite old. It, it is. It's quite old. We should have brought the Ouija board. We could have done it live. Oh, my God. We could have done a live Ouija board. <sighs> that that would have been sick. All right. If, if you're watching and you live near the Charlton area, bring us a Ouija board. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. I think the security will get a bit rowdy about that. But... Anyways, back to the game. Right here, you have the boys huddling. Um, you can only imagine what is... Look, look, Vooj, the, the bloody root of passion. Look at him. He loves it. I don't know what's going on with that hair. It's, it's like, you know what you put on Lego, Lego characters for their hair? Lego hair. Yeah. <laughs> but who cares? He is a passionate guy, and I know he's been saying some really good things to those boys. Here you go. Wait, the the stadium's erupted, and we are about to get underway, boys and girls. Reporting live from the Valley, Charlton Athletic. Bloody, let's do this for the boys. Is anyone going to get nutmegged today? Um, yes. Yeah, I actually reckon they are, mate. I reckon they are, and I think the crowd will erupt. Two people. Oi, the security guard's rec reckoning two people. He loves it. Um, but here we go. It is all so real right now. When these boys have been laying in bed, obviously, last night. I personally, before I play charity matches like this, I can't sleep, so... I don't know, everyone's different, but when they've been lying in there dreaming of scoring that screamer, it is all a reality right now. And um, like I say, anything can bloody happen, boys and girls. <sighs> Oi, Elliot, why aren't you actually playing, mate? Don't know. Like, why? why? Don't know. Another person I want to know why, why they're not playing, Malfoy. Where's bloody Malfoy? 
They wouldn't let him play. And I feel sorry for the kid because he scored the best goal in the Wembley Cup and it's, it's bloody out of order. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's ridiculous. But that's life. Sometimes you get picked. Sometimes you get chucked in the dustbin. <sighs> Anyways, what am I going on about? I don't know. Um, right, we're well, all... They're, uh, they're getting serious now. They're getting serious. Wait, is it a minute silence? Is it? Is it? I don't know. I mean... I mean... Do, wait, do we... No, I feel, I feel like we're meant to know if there is because like... Yeah, because otherwise we don't know whether we'd stop talking, whether we keep talking. Wait, wait, wait. wait everyone, we're going to be quiet because we don't know what's going on. <laughs> is it a minute silence? <laughs> is it a minute silence? Surely someone will blow the whistle. Um. Yeah, I think it is. Oh. Okay. Wait, oh wait, were we just talking through the entire minute silence? Oh shit! No, we weren't. Was that a minute silence? Oh mate, we're clueless. But, realistically, everyone's clapping. I don't know why, but... Okay, it's a minute pause for the PC that was killed on the Westminster attack. Oh sh... Oi, there we go. He was a Charlton fan. Oh... So we've got we got a clap, mate, we've got a clap. Okay. Obviously, this is, yeah. 100%. 100%. Pay our respect. Sorry, we did not intend any disrespect uh, just then. We just weren't too sure what was going on. But we now we are. We weren't told. Yeah, we weren't told. Sorry. Yeah, it's all right. Um, okay. I'm oh, sorry. I was <laughs> you just so- replied to the man that talked to us in our ear on the street. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all right, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. No, there's someone talking in our ear, everyone. So, yeah, they've just told us what it's for. So, yeah, massive respect. And, um, yeah, for a good cause, like I said. There we go. We're about to get underway. Right, here we go, boys and girls. I know everyone watching back at home, you are raring to go. I'm gassed, personally. I am very excited. I can't wait to see what's going to unfold here. Um, The boys are on it. Minta, seven. He loves it. Is he going to score a goal better than he did last time? Remember, last time he scored from the halfway line at kickoff. I don't know how he did it. He's a little magician on the ball. But can he pull out anything just is radical today. I'm not sure whether he could do a halfway thing. It depends where Hugh Wizzy is because obviously Hugh Wizzy is a lot better keeper. Yes, yes. Than Calix. Yeah. But I'll be interested to see if he can score a screamer because he scored three last time, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was an absolute star man. Right, and here we go, everyone. Wait, he's not... Sorry, the way they are lined up is as though he's going to shoot again. If you look, it looks like Simon Miniminter. Mini- 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 he's... Oh, he's doing it. He's playing games with us. But here we go. We are underway, boys and girls. Everyone... This is your side men match 2017. What the bloody hell was that oh, for me from Bazinga? I tell you what, YouTube All Stars actually looking very positive coming up forwards. What are you on about? They ain't even touched the ball. They're attacking. Look, they've got the ball now. Oh. Okay, so here we go. Early on, we have a free kick. Chris MD lining up, and the boys are already getting forward. Let's see what the boy can do. Deji lining up. Look, I reckon. I reckon he's a bit of a dark horse. I, nobody's going to worry about marking Deji, I think. That's the thing. Oh, and there we go. Castro, he's box. got a shot! Oh, oh and that was almost an early to the side. little goal. Don't forget, very tall players in this YouTube All-Stars team, and they've got a corner. Corners yeah. are going to be vital. I believe so, obviously. Yeah, the, the physiques, no, the physical aspect of this YouTube All-Stars team is definitely going to come into play, especially in, in scenarios like corners. So let's see what they can do from this one, boys and girls. Here we go, here and we go. And it's swung in. Oh, very well defended by Harry. Always solid. Okay. Well, see, situations like this, counter-attacks. Very physical like battle. Manny, Manny and Toby on counter-attacks is very dangerous. Right, and the, uh, the All-Stars have a free kick. Once again, looking very positive. They're piling... That sidemen um, box with bodies. Chris MD wants to once again to swing it in, and here we go. It's getting attacked. Oh, Cal freezing oh, with the little head up, but he didn't get the power that he wanted to. He has been in the gym, as you can see, bloody stacked. But he's not managed to get anything then. A oh, lofty ball. Oh no no oh, no my no! God, oh, it's in. Oh, it is Simon oh, Minimitter. Can stop. No. He's got it back. He's recovered and he's gone oh, for a swing counter with attacks, no success. Counter attacks. I think it's quite a, uh, a slow defence. And here we have Kallax 
in the right back position, looking for bodies. He's lofted it up there. Oh my God! What is going on? As you can see, very sloppy play, but the Simon boys have got it out for a throw in. Marcus Butler in the correct position there as well. Just needed a little more on that ball. Yeah, but once again, Harry, he's a solid boy. Harold Dino. Um, but here we go. The, the All Stars once again on the attack early on. And it's Kallax. What can he do here? He's lofted it into the box. Who's going to get on top? Oh, oh, oh no it's way. a goal! It's what Castro! A goal. Castro has absolutely buried one with his skull. Early he's, goal from the YouTube All-Stars. He's got an absolutely horrific haircut, but he doesn't care because he's scored a goal. Someone get that boy a razor. There you go. The All-Stars, they are, oh, every single one of them bar the goalkeeper going to congratulate him. Oh, and they're getting booed. Sorry, why are they getting booed? It's quite clear what the crowd want then. The crowd are indeed booing the All-Stars team. There's no one celebrating. No. Oh my God, but they don't care. They have got a goal. Now look at this. He comes in with full speed and gets that glancing header. Oh, it's a great goal. He didn't even need to engage the neck muscles. It just bounced off his cranium into the back of the net. And it is 1-0 to the YouTube All-Stars with three and a half minutes gone, Elliot. Mental. That Mental. is unbelievable. Scenes. There we go. It's interesting reaction from the crowd. I would have thought they'd celebrate for both teams, but we have got a majority Sideman FC audience. Audience. <laughs> yeah, and here we go. Josh Peters with the ball. Chris MD picks it up. He's very tight in there. There's not too much room to play about with. Oh, and he's oh, given it away to Simon. Minter is on the ball and he plays a through ball. But it is defended by Anderson Gibb. But Manny, he picks it up. What can he do here? Defended well by Reeve, I believe that is. See, Manny's one to watch that he's got the skills to pay the bills. And there we go, defending. He needs to get rid of that, and he does very well. And Anderson Gibb just boots it off for a throw in. <laughs> what a great bit of play that was. Chris, obviously, always looking focused. Yeah. He Tyler. wants his side to win. Very passionate, Chris MD. Yeah, and here we have JME, um, solid. Down to KSI, he's finally been found. Where's he been hiding? What's he gonna do? Skills to pay the bills. It is KSI, he's already beaten Kallax. Oh, oh, he's, oh. To me, that looked like a dive. What he's rolling everywhere, injury. what is he doing? Sorry, what is he doing? I think, I think he's trying to get the free kick. I think I mean, he might have got it. He's got the free kick. Realistically, he's looking like a... Like, let's have a look at, look at this close up. Salmon out of water, mate. Yeah, man. I mean, it looked like he was literally clipped and the boy is he's floating around on the ground like he's a bloody sandwich eater from Zimbabwe. But they've got a free kick. And let's see what happens. Who's on it? Toby's on it, I think. <laughs> Pathetic. Right, we have Toby Jizzle swinging it in! Oh, it's got to be a goal! Hugh it's got Wizzy. to be! Hugh Wizzy got there, stopped it from happening. Oh my God! That looked almost certain to be a goal, but Minter has picked it up out wide. Oh, oh what a bit of skill! That. What a bit of skill! It swung in! And what can they do? Absolutely jack flip, mate. They did nothing with it. Oh, okay. JME on the ball. Oh, oh! Out of nowhere! Ethan's got that. Oh! Okay. See Marcus, strong. Strong and confident on the ball. Hey, that was very, very naughty play from Bazinga. He really needs to sort that out or else he might find himself with a red card. Look at it. He got a bit angry and he went in hard. Ooh. That's not how it goes, Ethan. Sort your attitude out, mate. So far, very, very level game. Obviously, YouTube All-Stars got that early header. But it's been going backwards and forwards. And it's lofted up. Can come oh. for easy attack. No one's Marcus, attacked it. But Marcus. Marcus Butler with the first time shot. And it did nothing. But go out for a, a, lo a lovely little goal kick. So, um, yeah, once again, we're restarting. Bloody action packed so far in this All Stars versus Sidemen game. Where is it going to end up? We don't know, Ellie Flicks. We don't know. What's Morley like on goal kicks? We don't know. Right. And he spanked it up there. Oh, buddy, yeah, he smashed it up there. 
Can anyone capitalise on that header? No, no, no. Obviously, yet again, Hugh Wizzy with the experience. He comes to collect and dishes it out to Kallax. Oh, oh Skills! He's got Skills to pay the bills. He doesn't care. His name's Kallax. And it is oh. Oh, almost set away. Good ball by uh, Freezy. Freezy's got the most focused face. Yeah, man, he's really switched he's on. He's really switched on, really switched on. He, he needs to captain his team for the victory. If one of those balls gets through to, to Marcus, I think. And it's Minter with the free ball. Can Vic start capitalising? Can't. Not to worry. Minter has picked it up again out left. He's played it into Minnick, Manny. Which I think Manny could have got there. Yeah, he looked a bit lacklustre with that uh, attempt. Uh, Toby. To Toby's always going to be Ali to the Gib there. Uh, Ali to the Gib? <laughs> Ali to the ball there. Toby and Manny being some of the fastest players on the pitch. Oh, oh Vic! Oh, the challenges are coming in, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not friendly. It is not. Both teams looking like they really do want this game, which is great to see. Marcus Butler. He's away! He's knocked it in front of him! It looks like a Gareth Bale type goal. That reminded me of Bale versus Barcelona for a few years ago. But it, oh, what's happened here? It is freezing once again. With the ball to Deji. What can Deji. he put out the bag? Just pass it. Oh! Through. He did. Success. He's, he's done well. He hasn't lost it. Uh, and the referee is blown for, what was it? Is it a free kick? A foul by Marcus Butler, I believe. I think sidemen are getting worried. They need to get another goal quickly. Yeah. Because they don't want to keep this. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it looks like the midfield is getting dominated by uh, the YouTube All-Stars. Obviously, they've got Chris MD. Uh, and Cal Freezy seems to be putting in the shift. Um, they, I just can't see. I just can't see them turning this around at this rate. <laughs> no, I can't get that. But I don't know what I'm going about. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> wait, right, what's going I on here? I just can't see them. <laughs> oh, right, tackle, you've got Peter tackle. Manny. He's picked what it up. What can he do? It's gone to Mini Minter. Mini Minter. Oh, no! It's not a penalty. It's not a penalty. The referee's no said, said no, get up, Simon. Oh, get up. up. God, the stadium is once again erupting in boos. But why? They're living at the rest. They are absolutely. Because we all love, they all love Simon Minter, don't they? So yeah. they want to see him get a penalty. Oh, and JJ. Go, it's KSI. Is he going to go for it on his own? Is he going to pass it? Uh, I don't know what he's appealing for there. Realistically, he just did a bit of rubbish. And yeah, it's gone to nothing. Let's look a repeat on that. It's Simon Mini Minter. He knocked it with his knee. Oh, and nah, nah. Of, nah, not enough for that for me. You've got to battle harder, Simon. He was, he was nudged. Nah. That's where Josh Peters. Josh Peters. Solid. Yeah, He's man. strong. He is. He's a big South African boy. Right, here we go. Long, long throw. Oh, wow. Chucked in there. Can it get dealt with? And it has successfully. Castro is now Castro. making a run down the wing. The only goal scorer so far. What can he do? Oh! oh! Marcus Marcus. Butler it up. Okay, okay. Chris Wait, MD. is that Chrissy? Chris MD is running oh, this, down is this is dangerous. This is dangerous. This is dangerous. He's away. What's he going to do? He's surely got Oh, no, he's it. taking it around all of them. He's sure. Oh, and it's gone to bloody. Spooned it into the back of the stadium. Row that went like row F, but still, it was not on target, mate. Um, you can see what he envisioned there, but I, I personally think he needed to cross that. You know what I mean? Um, but here we have Charlie Morley. Surely uh, the sidemen need to push up a bit further. They know what they're capable of. Yeah, I know they do. He's, He's got a big kick. Is yeah, he going to kick it over the them all again? Hey, that is like professional goal. Oh! It's, it's KSI! Yet again, doing nothing. <laughs> Take the bloody bad banner off, mate. Like, what's, why is he wearing that? I think he got it from Ghana. No, no, he was no. finding himself. <laughs> oh. Right, here we have Mini Minto. I actually think the hair suits him, it looks all it right. It does, it does. And here we go, yet again with a big long throw. Mini Minter drafts it in there. Jeez. Aye. And it's oh. nothing, yet again, they don't really have much height. Toby Jizzle is like five foot six. And then KSI, he's just big, but like, I don't know. There is a lot of action this end, but it's all amounting to nothing. It's yeah. all crosses that get fizzled out. Exactly, Eddie flips. Right, boys and girls. 
12 minutes gone. The game fairly even. My stepdad has just texted me saying, stop saying bloody, you've got a young audience on this stream. Sorry. <laughs> bloody. <laughs> He's texted you mid-commentary. Sorry. <laughs> stop. Phil, what are you going on about? You can say bloody, can't you? Well, you've said it many times since he's told you not to, so... Yeah, anyways, back to the game. Back to the bloody game. <laughs> <laughs> Does it? Right, we have Toby Dizzle picking it up, right wing. What's dangerous, he's running, dangerous, he's running, dangerous, he's dangerous. Oh, he's absolutely left him behind. And the Sidemen boys have a corner. That's a good little bit of solo work from Toby Dizzle there. It's Poet coming up, Poet's coming up. So yeah. we've got Simon and Poet, the big boys. One of them needs to get the head on it, but they're going to be marked by some more big boys. So. Right, here we go. The, the, the stadium is chanting Toby. It's lofted in, but yet again, no one attack him. Straight into Hugh Rizzi's arms. We'll see these. What can Marcus do? It's been lofted up there. Okay, Chris, Chris MD on it. He just is quite good, isn't he? <laughs> okay, and he sent Marcus Butler away, but yet again swept up by Harry, the solid centre back. He's got it. Is this dangerous, though? Offside. Offside. Ricky Era. Schoolboy. Johnny Morley. The big kick again. See JJ asking for it up top. Is he going to make it there? Okay. Oh, oh! He came in very hard then, did Joel, as you can see, Jim Ladd. And Mini Minter doesn't go Jim. So, like, there was only one winner there. But it's resulted in a Simon free kick, which they've taken early. And. I, oh, that's a foul on the goalkeeper. Oh, oh. It's got to be. It's no, not. no, no, it's one of their own players. Six star has he swung. Oh, oh, it was, it was on, on target. target. It was on target, Ellie Flips. But um, I don't know what's happened there. Anderson Gibb. They winded. collided. They yeah. collided. And he's kicked the ball out of play. He must be a bit hurt from that clattering he got from Hugh Wizzy. Look at this. Oh, nuts to the face. Oh. That, that's what it was. Wait. I think it's more like a knee to the chest. Oh. Oh. We can go with that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> right. Simon Minter with the, with the throw in. Are oh, they not going to pass it back? Okay, so I believe Anderson is getting... No, his name's not Anderson, his name's Ali. Ali's... No, it's Ali? Yeah, his name is Ali. Ali's getting subbed They're off. They're both his name. Because <laughs> Anderson gives his YouTube name. Yeah, Ali's gone off. He's been replaced by... Don't really know, to be honest. Is, <laughs> did, he get, did he get replaced by Reeve or was Reeve already on? <laughs> Reeve was already on, mate. Okay, I'm just checking. Wait, has he been replaced? One, two, three, no. four, five, six. That's, mate, <laughs> Ali's just... Okay, he's getting replaced. He's getting replaced by sub to Will N.E. It is Will N.E. coming on. Will N.E. Now, we have no idea what he's capable of. We do know he's capable of. <laughs> no, 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 I can't say that. I can't say that. I can't say that. <laughs> it'll come out eventually. Yeah, probably. Basically, there's this girl called Melody. Oh, it'll come out now. <laughs> um, that when we were all in Los Angeles, Will N.E. decided to absolutely go to town. Of... Can I say that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I've already said it. Gone to <laughs> Okay, I can't say it. Wait, oh no, I need to behave anyway. I can imagine my stepdad caught like texting me again. Oh you've got a young audience. Sorry, Phil. Anyways, right, what's going on? Shout out Melody. Bloody Melody. Anyways, um Absolutely <laughs> <laughs> go to town. <laughs> this is taking a very strange turn. Anyway, Charlie Morley's taking a free kick. Let's watch that. Is it going to amount to anything? No. no. Oh, but he is out of goal. Bruv, I'm telling you, this this side men attack is not looking too strong. Yet again, Marcus Butler, the key man I said look out for, he's passed it to Chris MD. These two linking up very well at the moment. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Nah, you're not going to beat Manny with that. Manny's a skill. Oh. Manny's the master of yeah, that. Exactly. 
Oh look, Manny and Toby doing a little link up play. Sibling chemistry. Look, he's, you're not gonna beat him to that. Still going for it though, doesn't give up, passionate. Okay, and here we have Toby. Nice little link up play, but they, they've got numbers in there. The YouTube All Stars, no other defender against these skillful players. Just double up, and you've got them in a the bag. The YouTube Speaking All Star defense is doing a lot better than I thought they were going to as well. I wasn't sure, I wasn't 100% certain how strong they were going to be, but they've, so far they've been very, very strong. Jamie taking the throw. But Ethan against Chris MD. It's Chris putting in the work. Okay, oh! Marcus Butler has been set away, but Morley, he's got the pace. And that's the thing, like, Morley is, is actually phenomenal out, out in attack. I don't know why they've put him in goal, but there you go. He's oh, doing all right in goal, Jay to be fair. He's doing all right in goal. Jamie's recovered that. But has he just set Castro up? Off? No. Oh, yep. yes, he has. Castro's yes, he got has. it, and he's taken the shot. It would have been worth passing it to Marcus there, I think. But obviously... He scored earlier, so he's thinking, can I do it again? So what does Castro do? He's twitch, isn't he? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. And here we have Manny. Um, the boy loves a bit of solo play, but he has got his brother to his side, and he's taking full advantage of that. Manny is now away. He's going down this right wing. Can he play it into the box? Oh, it's he great. has! <sighs> ah! But Halux manages, manages to out-muscle Oh, no! lots of crosses all they can get in is crosses at the moment and none of their players are particularly tall so I'm not sure if that's helping them no exactly but yet again I, I assume we've got another long throw coming in from Simon but you can see in the box they've got Vic, Manny, Toby they're all small oh, oh! Close. JJ with JJ. the shot on target I mean anywhere but he went straight at the bloody keeper I couldn't believe that I thought that had to be a goal mate he was like a few yards out but KSI, his mind is not in the game, I don't think. Oh, missed by Josh, which means Marcus has got it. Can he do anything with it? Josh has recovered that, actually, to be fair. Very well done. OK, and it's been lofted in. This MD. Corner for the, again, for the big the YouTube All-Stars. Playing into the hands of, uh, of the All-Stars. They've got that big, tall squad, and they are chucking them all up there. Um, how are they going to deal with it? I don't know, but here we go. They've got to Chris be careful MD. for the counter-attack, though, because look at their defence currently. Yeah. Chris MD lofted in. Oh, that could have been, that could have been, but it, we have another corner. Um, Josh Peters then diving in with his scalp, but with no success. Oh, no, it's not a corner. It's a goal kick, sorry. Um, and the team's all reset. Thus far, we're 20 minutes in, and it is the All-Stars that are looking like they have got the upper hand. I will say so. Say so. That the, the midfield, I believe, it's, it's, it's just all the All Stars. Yet again, won by the All Stars in the midfield. Like it's just, and Deji picking it up. Deji doing but well. Those goggles are doing it well. Go on, Deji. Running away, but JME. Go on, Deji. 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 Can he do it? Oh, he's oh. oh, absolutely spotted oh. wide. I thought Deji had that in the bag. He did very well there. Oh. Mate, I couldn't believe that. The kid's never kicked a ball. No, he has kicked it. He's never played in a match in his life, I don't believe. But that was almost a moment to remember. He told me the last time he played an 11 aside was in year four. Blimey. And with skills like this, you have no idea. How. Look at it. Look at the pace. No, Jamie should have done better there. Yeah, he should have just cleared it. But here we go. Lofted ball up. Um, flicked on by Mini Minter. Needs to be dealt with, and it is bloody successful. Very good. Josh Peters solid so far at the back. Okay, skills to pay the bills by Mini Minter. Okay, he's played the ball in. Mate, I think Mini Minter should just shoot. Like, every time he gets the ball, he's passing it, and whoever he's passing it to is just not making an effort to get there. So far, the only thing going for Sidemen is Mini Minter, Toby, and Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The rest of them, not too much uh, being offered, but. Here we have another uh, another free kick for uh, the old All Stars boys. Who they got to aim at? They've got Marcus Butler, the big target man, number 50. Chris is up there getting ready as well. 
We need to send it to one of the tall boys for, to flick it on. Dealt with by Poet. Okay, we have Mini Minna once again trying to start things. But it's dealt with. Yeah, I feel like. Go on, show a bit of passion, Toby. Get there, fam. Yes! I mean, I'm, well, I meant to be non biased, but it's good to see a bit of fight. These, these Sidemen boys look like they're needing to show a bit more fight and desire to get there. Um, that's well played by Peters. Can he set anyone away? He's given it to Cal Freezy. Um, not much movement from the All Stars, so he's had to loft it up there, but it's got to Marcus Butler. Can he do anything with it? Ooh, hey, it's a collision. Cutter. That's another one, but buddy, Joel. JMX has come. No, no. Oh, no. Ethan's still on the floor. Okay, so we've got some Holding skills from face. Mini. We've got some skills from Mini Minter. He oh. is offside. Yeah, I saw that. He was offside. <laughs> no, he was, he was. <laughs> JJ just shot and he ran missed. That's a yellow card. Where That's a yellow shoot? No, he's kicking the ball away. Ethan holding the side of his face here. I don't know what actually happened. Here we go. Let's have a look. Oh, Oy, it's a bloody elbow. Gun. That's a geezer that benches about 200 kg. Oh. Bicep to the skull. It's not going to be a nice feeling. And Bazinga has felt the wrath of that. All right, and here we go. Lofted up there. Oh, two players going for the same ball. We have JMX with a huddle of All Stars players around him. They do need to spread out a bit more. Taking oh, it past JJ it. with ease. He's done it. Can he set anyone away? Marcus Butler, yet again, he's always in the right position, Marcus Butler, but that's what I like about him. Morley with the throw. Toby's ticked it up out wide. He's sent it early to Mini Minner, who has got some space. Oh, ah, that was going through to Toby, but Vic actually... Vic's going to get it away. back, get it back. Oh, oh Vic's done well. It's gone out for a low throw in to the All-Stars. We are just over halfway through this first half. Still one goal in it to the, to the YouTube All-Stars. Um, aside from that, clear-cut chance from KSI. Uh, a couple of yards out the header. They haven't really had many more opportunities used, uh, the, the Simon boys. So, I don't know how they're going to turn it around. Who have they got on the bench? I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm I not sure. Know. Breezy, always focused. Deji with some space on the side there. Send Deji. And Deji's picked it up. Go on, Deji. Get the one two. Deji's actually doing really Deji, well. He, but he, like by accident. Yeah, that's what it looks like. But you, you never know. Maybe that's just his style, mate. Cal Freezy with the ticky Oh, oh and he's no. He's absolutely slipped over. Like a giraffe on ice. Oh. He's on the floor. Yeah, he needs to get up. KSI yet again. Yeah, oh, no. Goal. He's got skills. No. It's KSI. What can he do with it? Oh, he's still going. Absolutely nothing. This boy is not making the most of the opportunity he's making for himself. But Manny, he's picked it up. Little skillsies for Toby. Go on, just run forward, I reckon. Have a go. You've, you've got to shoot. Oh! You've got to shoot. Cleared up again. Cleared up again by the YouTube All-Stars. That's what I'm saying, Elliot, mate. He's, <laughs> we were saying about the defence of the All-Stars, but they're looking solid. Lofted in. Directly ineffective. into the hands. A few, was he? Okay. Um, yeah, man, as I was saying, the All-Stars uh, defence, they're looking very solid. Very solid, very, very solid. Very, very, very solid. The midfield is looking stronger. Um, at this point, though, boys and girls, I, I would like to quickly dedicate a moment to my friend True Geordie, who, unfortunately, isn't with us today. He's an absolute top geezer. I know, I know a lot of you were hoping he would be on here, but it's just, it is what it is. Maybe next time, but True Geordie... You're in our hearts, mate. We love you. Oi. Um, okay, we just... Oh, yes, we've been given some water. The steward... Nah, what's it called? The steward, steward, man, do you want one? He's knackered. Go for it, geese. He's guarding the door. Calix. Anyone else see him as a father figure? Like, when we were in Los Angeles, he always picked the uh, restaurant that we went to. Wait, what are we waiting for? What's happened? Is there, is there a streaker? I think it's a throw in. Oh, I'm not sure what we're waiting for. Oh, okay, there we go. All right, and here we have Reeve. Where's he got that name from? 
Will oh. and he got some space on the left. Oh no, wait, I believe there's actually been a substitution there. P Money has come on. Uh, number eight, P Money. I don't know who he went on for. Was he not on earlier? Oh. No, 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 I think he's come on, but here we are. Okay. Uh, it's very, very sloppy, like, congested in there. There's not much room to play with, but Poet's managing to make some things happen here. We've got Manny. Poet pushing forwards, trying to get things going. JMX, can I say, has also been a very, very solid uh, defensive midfielder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's putting himself about. He's using that physical ability he has. Him and Freezy, very good pairing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They work well together. And we have been cleared again. Boys and girls, this game needs to be live and up, did it? Something needs to happen. Oh, oh and here we have it. Bloody Chris MD. Chris MD. Jamie's Bottled got that. it. Mate, he's making all these videos with the likes of Hector Bellerin and the Man City boys. But has he got the composure in the final third? He missed a penalty in the last game. So that is what I wanted to know. Be interested to see who do you think is going to get the next goal? The next goal, I mean, at this rate, mate, it's looking like the All Stars. Like they're looking solid at the back. They they're creating the most. The thing is, though, is like it gets to that final third, and it just gets cleared every time. Like I know, like from playing in it last time, like it is just like the, I don't know. It just constantly happens. It's rare that there's much space to work with. Um, but here we have. Oh, just substitution. Deji oh, off. Casper Lee has come on. Yes. And here we have it. In the side bend box, it's Marky Bat Bat. And he's done nothing. Yet again, no space at all to work with in that, in that area. But Chris MD is picking it out wide. What can he do with it? He's going down the wing. It's looking like the majority of goals are going to be coming from counter attacks. Yeah, because the thing is, when there's too much time in the build up, it feels like oh, there's, no, there's no space because the whole entire squad of each team seems to crowd uh, the box so there's not much to play with you get me yeah looking from up here I think some of them could afford to spread out ready yeah. for like some long balls because look we've got all of these like JMX could come over here kind of thing like wait, wait, wait. where's over here where's over here to the left side uh, they just there's a lot of bodies all in the same position what's yeah. happened there uh, we have a quick free kick from Manny Toby in but the touch does let him down and it does seem to be a little bit bobbly out there. Like every time they go to try and do something with the ball, it is going out of their reach. Josh Peters up have. front. He came forward. He was pinging them in in the warm up. Straight to Marcus. Can he do anything with it though? No. And it is a sideman throwing. Um, well, Marcus Butler, as I said. I was I was assuming he would he would put himself about, and he has. He's he's leading the line very well for the All Stars. And here we go, Freezy, the Scottish beast, to sub to Willany. And he didn't like that was awful. Bazinga has absolutely set Vic Star away. He's a fan favourite. He's got massive feet for only a five foot six boy. But what can he do with them? Oh well, he's dribbled it into JJ. Oh, is that a foul? Is it a foul? No, I don't think that was a foul. He went down like a sack of absolute bloody carrots, mate. KSI, he's getting booed by the fans. I think, that's, I think that's JMX who's getting booed. Oh. Or the referee for not making the decision to give him a free kick. Oh, yeah, it's probably it. It's a very Sideman bias audience. Yeah, it is. And here we have a lot of space for Peters. He can pick out anyone he likes. And he's played it, ah, bit of miscommunication there. Right, Freezy picks it up in the midfield. And it's Freezy, after a little one-two, chips it into, ah, look at him, they've got three bodies there, clearing it away. I'm telling you, this final third, there's not much room to bloody play with. Look at that air cut, it's, I was not expecting him to have that. When's he had that done, by the way? Don't know, he just turned up and I was like, Oh, I didn't, think I didn't realise his hair was that long. Yeah, I didn't even think it was him. I think it must be like, has he got extensions? I don't know. But Dino, yet again, doing what he does best, clearing the ball. P-Money. 
with a, a nifty little ball actually to Toby. He's open in the middle now as well. Yeah. It's very backwards and forwards, like very in the middle section. Okay, and Freezy picking the ball up. Chris MD also. Oh, oh with a little, little back hill to He's got to get your body there. Freezy absolutely does well. Ah, but he doesn't manage to beat Jamie. And I will say, he, JME, is a solid defender. He just will always get there. Um, I've been a victim of that a few times before. Here we go, Bazinga. Is he Ronaldo? He bloody is, mate. Look at oh. that scores. It's the pink-haired boy. It's Toby. What a disgusting back pass. Peters. Oh, and oh, it's, it's a free kick. But, kick. Mate, that was foul awful. On the, foul on the goal Peters team. gone down. I'm sorry, this audience is bloody savage, mate. They're booing a geezer. Stop this saying bloody. Oh, yeah, sorry. Phil's going to get Phil. at me. Sorry, But, um, no, this, this audience is savage. They're booing anything that goes against the side, man. The side, man, even Hugh Wizzy, the opposition goalkeeper, getting hurt. It's an abomination. And what the crowd's been like so far, it's looking like if we are if we are to get a side main goal, they are going to erupt. Yeah, man, <laughs> for real, they will erupt. Um, yeah. Lofted up once again. Marky Butt back. Can he get there? No, but Manny does. I don't know why he's playing so deep. KSI picking up. Um, oh, yes, can he can he play a pivotal ball? He can go round the defender. And it's a, it's a, a free kick. kick in a very interesting position. Who's going to take it? Is I it going to be Toby? This is absolute Simon Miniman um, territory. But what is going to happen, Eddie Flips? What if Simon puts his top bins? He's got the he's got the capability. We know he's, we, he's definitely got it. And it's a booking from Peters. Um, I, I, I do actually agree with that. He, he was not going for the ball. He did trip him up. Um, but who there's, there's, there's several sidemen players around that ball. Once again, taking a look at that foul. Where's Peters? <laughs> Nowhere near the ball. A little ginger ball. Who's it going to be? It looks like it's Manny shaping up. I still think it could be Toby. Where is Simon? Simon's nowhere to be seen. Is he even on the pitch? Simon's not even on the pitch, boys. But has he just gone off? No, he's not there. Anyways, to take the free kick, it is Ethan Bazinga at the wall. At the wall. Why did he take it? I don't know. That's Why what I was would, thinking. Sorry. I mean, <laughs> understandable if you're winning, but I would have put uh, Toby or Manny on that. Yeah, definitely, Matt. Castro, little lofted ball. Ay, ay, ay. Oh. Manny again. Picked up. No. Oh. Hey. Again, dealt with well by the YouTube All-Stars. Ooh, got some spaghetti legs going on. <laughs> Hasn't done him very well. Bruv, I didn't actually realise Castro's not that bad, but like, I, I didn't, I didn't, I oh know, wait, I played against him in the Wembley Cup, but I forgot, he's actually got skills, just as does. Who is this oh, on Kasper the ball? Lee. Oh, he should have, I feel like he, oh, he needed a bit more pace to get there earlier, I feel. But that was a great position to be in. Didn't make the most of it, though. Callux picking it up with a sloppy touch that leaves it for Josh Peters. Oh, very dangerous, very dangerous game they're playing there. They needed to just get rid of it. Again, a decision against Sidemen sends the crowd into booze. I think it's about time for another goal, don't you? Mate, that is what, uh, realistically, we're all thinking it. Everyone in the stadium, you can see their frustrations. I bet you boys and girls at home are thinking the same thing, like, get on with it, you know what I mean? Just score, like, just get a goal in there. But it is hard, like, <laughs> there's not much space to play with. But... I want a top binge from Chris MD. There we go, look at the fans, loving it. JME on this throw-in. He must be very sweaty under that do rag, you know what I mean? He has had it straight from birth, mate. Interacted with the fans, he loves it. Ah, he's such a lovely boy, isn't he? Oh, Vooj coming on. KSI going off. Minta is off. Sorry. So, wait, so is that Vooj and Redmond that have come on? Redmond, he's a technical player. Vooj, um, questionable. But. 
Let's see what they can do. I'm surprised Minter is off. Yeah. I mean, the boys are losing. They, they need his quality, but... Definitely, definitely. There you go. Vuj obviously playing out, out pitch. Yeah, usually he's in goal, but he's been given the red shirt rather than the yellow one today. Okay, and we have Castro with a nifty little ball. Get out. Yeah, they've got it out successfully. Oh! It's a dodgy touch! Bad. And we have Tony Jizzle away! He's one on one with the keeper! What can he do? Oh! He could not do saved anything. by Hugh Wizzy. That's where he is vital. Bloody hell, mate. My heart sunk to the bottom of my trousers then. I thought it was going to be a goal. Marcus but it Butler. Wasn't. Edge of the box. He saw what he was going for. The keeper was off his line. Yeah. Um, Unfortunately, nothing came of it. Yeah, mate. Okay. A bit more space in there now. Um, oh, maybe not. JMX pressuring. Oh, and he's, he's won he's it. He's won it. He's won it. JMX, he's got multiple to pick from, but that ball, is it over hit? Oh, shot. Harry bloody Dino cleaning it up again. I'm telling you, mate, that boy is a born sweeping defender. He does it for fun. Oh, yeah, mate. Very pacey. And Pace, and I don't know if he's got, I think he's just always in the right position. He's got a very good football in mind. Why is that? Okay, foul throw. Foul bloody throw. Oh, I can't say. I keep, do you reckon Phil's going to be really upset with me? I mean, you do keep saying bloody. I do, but I do it all the time anyway. True. Like in my videos. I mean, Josh Zerka said we were allowed to say bloody. Yeah. Zerka's like the captain of the sidemen, I believe, in terms of he, he calls the shots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. don't know. Or oh, we've got little youngsters taking pics of us. Apart from the fact, security. No, don't. <laughs> 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 no. No. Well, no, they're just kind of blocking my they're view. They're blocking a view. But it's been lofted in. Who's that on the ball? It's Marcus, Marcus but Butler, mate. He has been absolutely tackled. And here we have David Vianic, is that? Yeah, it is. Number 92. He's trying some skills, and it's not worked in a dangerous position as Chris MD picks the ball up and sets Cal Lil Frunz pipe away. It gets lofted into the box, but it is over hit. So nothing comes of that. Woo! Once again, Cal Freezy, look at him, serious. Does he crack a smile? No. I ain't seen him smile all day, mate. The boy is in the zone. Here we go, Chipmunk. You can tell the burnt chip wants to get on the pitch. You can tell as well. I think he can bag many goals today. I reckon he can bag a few goals. He loves it. Oh, right. Are we going to see? I, I've heard that uh, the burnt chip is injured, so he really? won't be playing. He won't be playing that long. Oh, what a shame! But I think he's going to come on. Yeah, I, I heard he was going to be playing on the wings and running up and down the line. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Very, 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 very much. Nice. Right, and here we have JMX. S still nothing really happening. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> Jack Flip is happening. <laughs> Nothing's going on. We might as well talk about eating bananas at this point because I want one. Oh, oh, he went for the nuts. It didn't oh. work. Oh. oh, and nothing's amounted to that either. Yet again, these boys <laughs> with atrocious footballing ability. Nah, I'm one to talk. I've bottled it in every single game, so it is what it is. I know what these boys are going through right now. However, get it together. Well, the same thing's happened again. <laughs> Absolutely nothing has amounted, but Marcus Butler has some space. Who's he going to pass it to? He hasn't got many options, but he's found one in Chris MD. He's got some space. What can Chris MD do? Absolutely oh, nothing. He should have shot you, absolute boy. I am, I'm running out of ways to commentate the same thing. I know. <laughs> how, how can you rephrase the same thing happening over and over again? Bloody nothing. Yet again. But no, in fact, mate, they do have a free kick, Chris MD. Um, we got two boys at the window with very questionable centre partings. Oh, yeah. That haircut's in nowadays, though, isn't it? Like, it's a bit... I don't know why. I don't know. <laughs> it's a bit dodgy. Very but, dodgy. Anyways, back to the action we have. Surely Chris is on this. Yeah, mate. Chris MD to step up. What can he do? Oh, oh and it's just over the bite. It had the dip. It had the dip. You can see he's been practising that. But, nah. He's, he's doing your legitimate sign wrong, mate. <laughs> Obviously, Charlie Morley, me and him went to the same school. Shout out Seaford Ed. 
If you're from Seaford, you're getting represented well by little boy Charlie Morley. And um, you. Oh, yeah, and me, but I'm not really playing, so, yeah. Anyways, P-Money picks it up. Lofts it into David Vianic. Shock, absolutely nothing happens. <laughs> now, I, trust, I reckon, I reckon the second half is going to spice up a bit, but they're probably a bit tired, to be fair. Oh, he stacked it. Back to Vianic. The game is getting more and more out of hand. Oh, Chris MD. And again, Harry, oh, solid. What, what a surprise. He sweeps it up. Mate, he's tired, though. You can see he's, he's breathing heavy, heavy. And he does have blonde highlights in his hair. Apparently, he was convinced by the burnt chip to get blonde highlights. What do we think, boys and girls? I think it looks all right. Anyways, Marcus Butler. Oh, shot. Harry. But the, uh, the All-Stars do have a corner. Yet again, can they use their height to the advantage? Um, thoughts on Marcus Butler's haircut, mate? I rate it. Yeah, I think it suits him a lot. Yeah, you see a lot of weirdos doing this blonde thing, but uh, even you did it, mate. Correct. And some people can work it. Ball swung, on by, swung in by Chris MD, and it's dropping oh, oh. over the crossbar by little boy Marcus Butler. Oh. I reckon you should do your hair like that. No. What about for a certain amount of donations? No. Okay, if we get... I don't know what it's currently on, but Toby, it hit 10K the other day, the Just Giving page, and that's why Toby's got pink hair. How much does it have to hit for you to dye your hair blonde? If it blonde? gets to 40K, if it gets to 40... 20. Five. It's probably all at 20. Okay, 25. If it gets to 25,000... Oh, my God! Wait, what's the going on here? Oh, he spooned it. Is it going to go out for a throw-in? Oh, my God. We were way too busy chatting about dodgy haircuts. But they are in attack, the sidebend boys. JME leaves it to FIFA Manny. Swings it in, but no one's there, fam. Oh, the same thing's happened again. Yeah. But back to that, 25K okay, on yeah. the Just Giving page. It'll be, it'll be in the description below. Joseph Weller will have bleach blonde hair. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Wait, but that was just, oh, look. that's awful. That's so like, that's just what everyone's doing. It's but, for a good cause. There you go. All right, I agree to it. Anyways, here you have Casper Lee picking it up. And yet again doing bloody nothing. <laughs> I'll do something good for once. No, 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 no. I need to, I'm talking about everyone. Like everyone I feel needs to switch up their, their composure a bit in a way. You know what I mean? They're, both teams are very scared of conceding, but obviously the YouTube All-Stars have the, the upper hand with the fact that they've got a goal. Yeah. So, so they, they can do that. They can do the defensive thing. Side men need to attack more. Yeah, correct. They need to take that risk. Yeah. Send more forwards. Indeed, mate. But here you have Josh Zerka um, picking it up. We are into uh, added time for this first half. I'm not entirely sure how much has been added. It doesn't have the little plus like yeah. it does on uh, TV. You don't know how, how much has been added. I can't imagine it's much at all. But um, here we have. The ball getting floated about. Shoot. Oh, where's Harry Hit come it. from? Hit it! He's not. Oh, good bit of defending. Chris MD. Oh, this should be interesting because Harry's not at the Marcus back. Marcus Butler is in on goal. But what can YouTube, Jamie do? For the YouTube All-Stars. What's going to happen oh, no. is Marcus Butler! Oh, and he's absolutely... Saved by Charlie Morley. Boomed it. Anywhere, but he hit it right at the goalkeeper. I couldn't believe that. I thought that had to be... And what would that have done psychologically to the sidemen lot? But here we have some... Good play. Poet is picking it up deep in the midfield. Ah, goes for a little nifty ball, but it doesn't pay off. Whoa, very interesting tackle. And there we have, enter the first half. It is 1-0 to the YouTube All-Stars. It's been full of each team going for it, but I guess a little lack of composure and maybe ability in the final third, mate. Yeah, I'd, I'd have to agree with that. We both said it was going to be a high-scoring game, and yeah. so far it's not looking like that. Nah. I don't know what the second half's going to unfold. It'll be interesting because obviously everyone will be tired. Yeah, I think that will play a factor. I mean, you can see it at the end of that first half there. Both teams getting sloppier as I assume they're getting more tired, um, which can lead to lapses in concentration. Not only it's not only a physical impact, it is a mental impact, mate. So. Yes, this second half may be open to more goals, you would think. Yes, I'd, I'd have to agree, but we'll have to see. I wonder what the team talk, wonder what the captains are going to say. 
in the dressing room. Yeah, there you go. Um, right, mate, I feel like we should, like, I don't know, play some sort of game over Twitter or something. Do you reckon? Do you know what I mean? I feel like that could be quite quite interesting. What should we do? Oh, should we... Oh, we're going to a VT. Oh, we... They're cutting us off. Oh, okay, so we've just been told in our <laughs> ear they bu they're butting us off to go to a little videotape. So, uh, anyways, boys and girls, we, are hope you, we hope you are enjoying this, uh, this Sidemen match. 1-0 as we say at the moment. But you know, I'm going to go with Manny. Probably Toby, Manny in a close second. JJ thinks he's the fastest, but yeah. I would go with Toby. You know, I'm going to go with Manny. Bateson. I'm going to go with Vic because he just can't run. This is usually where I'd throw myself under the bus and say probably me. Is that a fat joke? If we were looking at last year, I'd say it would be JJ. He, he rolled halfway across the pitch. Burnt chip, definitely burnt chip. JJ thinks he's definitely at now after that TT session. I'm going to go P money. I've heard that JMX is going to be throwing his weight around on the pitch, so he could be the hard man of the pitch. That's Jeremy. If JJ's wearing some form of a bandana, he is the worst dressed player on the pitch. I'm just preempting that. JJ? I'm not going to lie, I heard it's Bateson. JJ? <laughs> Burnt chip. In terms of talking about their, how their performance is going to be leading up to the match, I've heard JJ say a lot for himself. Chris MD, he's very creative with it. Cop out answer. P money. I'm going to throw this one to, to, to my boy Sug, Joe Sug. Oh no. I'm going to go with Jamie here. <laughs> I can't think of anyone. JJ. Person asking me the question, Simon, of course. Simon. We're going with Jamie, without a doubt. Um, Calix. I'm going to go Deji. I'm casting my mind forward to the future here. JJ, I'm putting him down for all my answers. Bateson. <laughs> Did you see my back heel last year? Come on now. There's a, a lot of good competition. You've got to flip a coin for that. Vic, he does handstands. Vic does handstands in the shower. Ethan, because he probably raps to like man don't care or something. But it's JJ without a doubt. Yeah, he gets he gets lost in the shower. I don't know what he what he's trying to achieve in there. Yo, <laughs> you can't be asking me them things. Oh. <laughs> no, <laughs> is that actually a question? Thank you guys for watching the stream so far. Obviously, today is about raising money for charity. If you want to help us out, then make sure you click out the Just Kicking page on screen right now. And other than that, make sure you enjoy the second half.
Welcome back to our little bit of a half-time match. As you can see, the Brazilian drummers are kicking off. I basically demanded it as my walk-on music, just to have a little bit of glamour in my life. Um, I hope you guys have been really enjoying the first half. Clearly, the teams are a lot more even now, whereas like last time, we were like a bunch of goals ahead by this point. It's still only 1-0 fantastic what I want to talk to you about now is I hope you guys have been entering in the competition to win a chance to go to the mummy premiere here in the UK it's the new Tom Cruise movie if you guys think you know the side men if you think you know the YouTube all-stars if you've been watching the match and seeing how well one of them has been playing and you think yeah he's gonna be man of the match tweet side men FC with the name of the player and you could win a chance to come to the UK premiere, which is pretty fantastic. And uh, hashtag the mummy, of course, as well in that too. And if you're not really sure if that's something you'd be into, we've got a little bit of a trailer to whet your appetite. Get out of that plane. There's not a single scratch on your body. You are alive because of what you brought on that plane. Who are you? Welcome to Prodigium. We recognize and destroy evil. But this is unlike anything we've seen before. You have no idea what you have unleashed. The Mummy, in cinemas June 9th. Right? I think you should definitely enter. If all it is is a tweet, so tweet at Simon FC, hashtag The Mummy, with your man of the match, and you can be in with a chance of going to the UK premiere, you and a friend. That's not half bad for watching a football match. Well, I think it's time that we kicked off the second half, so we're going to throw over to our commentators. It's over to you guys, Joe and Elliot. Very close to basically the second half. Um, Ellie Flips, predictions for this second half. I'm expecting more goals. Mm. I'm thinking we could get three or four potentially because people are getting tired. Yes. Uh, more prone to mistakes. Who's going to win, though? It is looking more like the YouTube All-Stars unless sidemen come out and step up their game. Yep. Mate, I couldn't agree more. Um, I don't know what these Brazilian drummers are doing, though. Like, they're just going mental. Like, I want to be here in some KSI Lamborghini playing. Oh, okay. Well, we We've some. been interrupted by some highlights by the, uh, from the first half. So, here we go. The goal by Castro. Mate, it was a great this finish. This is actually a really good goal. Look at the state of that. The way he ran in. It's just um, bounce, let it bounce off his head in the right direction. Yeah, it was almost like an intelligent bit of play, the way that he realised he didn't need to go too forcefully, um, just allowing it to bounce off his head and go into the back of the net. It was a, it was a talented little, little goal. Um, here you have oh, KSI. That, that moment really got to my... Well, it just annoyed me, really. Like, why is he doing that? Look. Goes away for 400 years, comes back rolling around. Like, what's that all about? <laughs> Castro did put on a good show in the first half. Same with Marcus Butler, yeah, same man. with Chris MD. To be honest, he was actually the, uh, the, the surprise for me, Castro. like he, he was demonstrating some good ability. Obviously, you've got Chris MD causing a nuisance. Um, he, had that, he had that solo effort that I personally thought he should have crossed, but is what it is. Um, this, oh God, what's going on here? This is, oh wait, I remember this moment. Oh. That was horrible. That was something out of bloody WWE, mate. Look. All I think there is uh, I would hate to be Ali right there. Mate, that was a knee to the face. That was painful, painful stuff. But I, I, in fact, I think he went off as a result. I don't know, I don't know if he's going to be back on, but he was definitely very hurt. Obviously, Vic Star with that little effort. Um, oh, no. Oh, oh, this mate. is the bit of magic from Deji, wasn't it? <laughs> Do you it? remember this? This was ridiculous. This was my favourite part of the first half. Yeah, obviously you saw JME Unexpected. make... Multiple mistakes. Look, you thought he would recover. And he... Look, right here, you think, just sweep it away, mate. Do a Harry. Nope. He tries to do a back heel and Deji with the ski goggles comes in. Oh, interesting challenge Elbow there. to the face. Interesting. I mean, I don't think JMX did, did much wrong, but it definitely was a painful one for Bazinga. Oh. Ouch. That's just unfortunate. He hasn't done that intentionally. No way, no way. But again, I'd hate to be... Ethan in that situation. Freezy, oh, stacked it. Just as I was about to say, Freezy demonstrated some skillsies, but he did have that moment. Oh, no. That was his bad knee as well. Death. Oh, shit. Oh. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to swear. But, <laughs> yeah, he, I forgot to say, Cal Freezy's actually injured. Like, he's done his knee in. Um, so that could have been a disastrous moment for him. 
But obviously this moment was even more disastrous. The back pass from Josh Peters, which almost led to a goal by Toby. Um, yet again, ouch. Oh, look, you Wizzy getting absolutely battered. I don't think Toby did anything wrong. Like, it was a 50-50 and like, Hugh Wizzy just came off a bit worse. But, oh well. KSI with the skills. And he did win a good free kick there. Like, I, that, that, remember, Vizinga took it. I, I don't know why. You had Manny, you had Toby, you had a lot of talented free kick takers and I don't know, Bazinga's not really renowned for the old top bins from a free kick Especially scenario. when you're one behind. It's, yeah, it, man. It, it was a very strange decision to put him in front of. Yeah. But Yeah, it's ridiculous. Oh, we're back on the cam. Anyways, um, yeah, we are very close to this second half kicking off again, boys and girls. Obviously, you guys at home, tweet us in. What are you thinking of the game so far? Like, What are you thinking of bloody Elliot's chain? I mean, it looks like it's got the new one-pound coin on. What's that all about? I don't know. I've gone for this little attire. Hashtag professional. But it is what it is. Um, the, the, oh, no. Is that Marcus Butler shaping up as though he's going to take a shot from the, fir uh, from the first kick in the second half? Well, no, he's facing the wrong way. Oh, no, he is facing the wrong way. <laughs> oh, wait. No, I forgot they're shooting the other way now. Mate, at half time they swap no, sides. No, I know. But I messed up. <laughs> But anyways, right, we're back at it again with the shot. No, he's not taking he's a not shot. He's not taking a shot because no, no, they yeah. swapped sides. He's Oops. actually facing his own goalkeeper. Okay, right. And the second half is underway, boys and girls. Um, very, very positive going forward instantly from Chris MD. But we have it back at it again in the defence of the All-Stars. Minter back on the pitch, causing havoc already. And KSI, his mentor, Cause and Havoc as well. He goes for a little one. Simon type Minter. Thing. Ment Aye, and they've won it. Is that a corner? Ali's done on? well there. He's back on. He's recovered from the knee to the face. Yeah. Mate, oh, look at Jesus. That black eye. Look at that black eye. I could not believe that. That is from the absolute wrestling manoeuvre he received from Hugh Wizzy early on. I can't believe that. That's a That's raucous mark on the face. Right, and it is whipped in by Simon Minter. Directly oh. into the hands of Hugh Wizzy. Same old story. Or Chris MD on the ball early. Can he? That's it. That's a good and ball. That's a good Marcus ball. Butler that's a good away. ball. Marcus Butler, one on one with the goalkeeper. Ah, ah, oh no! He's absolutely fluffed his lines. Uh, realistically, we all thought there's no way they're catching him, but they caught him. They caught him. They caught him. Ah, oh. couldn't believe that. Anyways, wait, was it? It wasn't Harry, was it? Are you take. Bruv, that kid's a magnet to the ball. He's just Mate, sick. He is quite pacey, I told you before. Really? Like, yeah, he realize. actually is. He actually is. Anyways, here we have, yet again, a sloppy attack that is dealt with by uh, the Simon boys. Manny, he's got the pace. Ay, ay, ay. Could Ali be... doing well. Yeah, man. Ali's, maybe that knock to the, to the head's absolutely uh, reignited his talenting. Oh, wait, what am I going on about? Don't know. Basically, is he now good at football? Basically, because he's been knocked in the head, he's now Cristiano Ronaldo, is yes, what you're trying to say. basically. Anyways, what do you reckon Joe Suggs doing? Laying in bed ill. That must be awful. Shout out Joe Sugg. He was meant to be playing, and he's absolutely had to stay at home eating shredded wheat. He would have loved to be here. Yeah. Instead, he's having sandwiches made by himself. Anyways, right, here we go. Back to the action. I've received a text message from Melody. From Melody? <laughs> Oh, wow. So, basically, the girl that we were talking about uh, in regards to Will Ed has just texted us. She's very angry. <laughs> <laughs> do we reveal her Instagram? No, 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 we can't do that. No, no, that's no, bullying. No, 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 we can't do that. We can't do that. Anyways, right. It's only bullying if they say mean things. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, I thought that was going to amount no, no. to something, but shock. It, it stopped to... at the edge of the box again. Yeah, man, like... And that is the, the story of this Sidemen side game for the Sidemen boys. They they need a bit more creativity, you know what I mean? For a, for a team of creators, you would think they'd have a bit more up their sleeve. Anyways, it's lofted in. Going to be dealt with? Yes. Comfortably. Out for another throw. Oh. Sidemen having to adjust his shin pads. The absolute pendulum arms of Mini Minter. 
Oh, wait, you can't score directly from the throwing, can you? Like, it has to be, it has to hit someone. Yeah, it has yeah, to hit yeah, someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, had a luck at it's going straight in. But it's a massive ball launched up uh, by Hugh Wizzy. Oh, Harry, he, bruv, is he the man of the match? He's sick. Harry is sick. I'm laugh. sorry. Is that the bird chip that's come on, by the way? Oh, the bird chip. Oh, he's, he's likely to bag a couple of goals here, but I don't know how many, as he is injured. But still, he plays on. He's definitely got the potential to, to, to score a few. Um, see there, he's stretching his foot. I think it's his ankle. Oi. And he's stretching wait, it. Wait, mate. Shauna, um, the ex-girlfriend of KSI, has just tweeted me saying, watch your profanities, boy. What's profanities? That's basically like swearing and being like inappropriate. Wait, am I, are, we, are we bad? I don't think we're bad. Are we bad, Mr. Stewart, man? He's shaking his head. Oi, nah. Anyways, right, back to the game. Ollie White. Obviously, as you can see, both teams made a few substitutions. We haven't got any intel on to exactly who, but... Um, oh, no. Melody's text you, too. <laughs> Melody is livid. Anyways, right, here we have it. Oh, my God, is that none other than Toby Jizzle that has been out-muscled? I, I, don't, I don't know if that was a foul, in my opinion, but the referee has given it in a dangerous position. That's not a, I don't think that's a foul. That's not a foul. <laughs> Anyways. Hugh Wizzy. Hugh Wizzy, you look at him absolutely commanding that defence. He is a true leader, but is he going to be able to stop this Toby Jizzle free kick? Toby and Manny both lined up. Either of them, good at set pieces. It's Manny! Oh, oh and he's absolutely spooned it. He's got little beads. Imagine having all those beads in your hair. Like, I can't imagine. Like, surely they're just like surely knocking you in the head all the if time. If you turn your head quickly, do they, can you not get, like, get one in the eye? Yeah, like, they're quite long. Wait, Shauna said, nah, before you said, oh, the S word. Oh, because I said the S word. Oh. oh. That's why she's getting Larry. Oh. Here we have Ali, new and improved. Mate, I'm telling you, he has improved. It's the knock to the head, mate. Redman, technically gifted. Gives it to another technically gifted player in FIFA Manny. He's got a bit of space ahead of him. Can he make the most of it? And it's given to Simon Miniminta. Oh. He does nothing with it, though. And that's what's actually getting me a little bit angry. But these Simon boys, zero composure. Nah, but we don't know. Maybe they're going to turn it around. But thus far, that is what is letting them down. And we can all agree on that, I feel. Look at it. Now, it was a difficult shot, to be fair. I'm being a bit harsh. But, come on. Hugh Wizzy, not as good at goal kicks as Charlie Morley. I nah, miss. he's not. Boys and girls, once again, we do want to emphasise the need to donate. Obviously, we're all here enjoying this game today. And um, we want to really show our appreciation. I think the best way to do that is uh, donate to the Childline cause that this is all about. Go um, to the Just Giving page. Yeah, the It'll links be in are the in the description, yeah. If it gets 25k, Joe's going to bleach his hair. Awful news, but is what it is, I guess. Anyways, more sloppy pay. Oh, hello. Mini Minter, is he in? I can't tell from here. Oh, was a it a collision? Kick? Sorry, the referee has somehow worked that out as a Mini Minter foul. Sorry, well that weren't a foul, mate. The crowd are Look at this geezer. Who's that? That's Reeve. That's Reeve. <laughs> I thought it was a streaker that had come on. Apart from the fact that wasn't a foul, it was a side men corner. Right, and it is picked up by Willeny. Oh, well done. Oh, hello. Chris MD's got a bit of confidence. Has he set Marcus Butler away? Nah, the keeper's got there. Morley, yet again, with his absolute titanic kicks. Oh, skills by Toby Jizzle. He's in. How? Oh, skip it above. Reeve done well. 
Reeve the Streaker. <laughs> the hashtag, random streaker. Hashtag Reeve the Streaker has done it. He's defended successfully. Hashtag Reeve the Streaker. Get it streaker. going. Trending. Let's get it trending. Hashtag Reeve the Streaker. Jeez. Charlie Morley. Very confident. Oh, Ollie White. Aye, aye, aye. As if Ollie White has just done KSI for strength. Mate. It's KSI's middle name, strength. Oh, yeah, apparently, allegedly, this KSI now stands for something. It's knowledge, strength, and integrity. That's quite good. And here it is. It's knowledge, strength, and integrity on the ball <laughs> with the skills. <laughs> Call him that every time now. <laughs> this great play from knowledge, strength, and integrity. <laughs> knowledge, strength, and integrity, Olegi DBT. <laughs> right. Castro, he's Mexican. Oh, but that wasn't very good. And he's taken a. Who was that Redmond? What's he bloody thinking? Shocking. Huh? Elliot is whispering to me, who is he? Basically, Redmond, uh, I believe he works uh, on the Sidemen clothing. So he is fully uh, a part of the Sidemen like, setup. He's oh, not in the, in the Sidemen, but he, he's a part of it, you know what I mean? Um, I believe we've got an injury. Castro is down, and Zerk is giving him a bit of TLC. I mean... Oh. Can't keep their hands off him. Oh, wait, he's really injured. Oh, no, I think we're going to have to see a substitution here, boys. But... At that's least a big <laughs> loss. I'm surprised the fans aren't booing. Like, that's the sort of thing they were booing in the first half. Well, they're probably cheering the fact that he's injured and going off. <laughs> Maybe. We don't know. But um, wait, who has replaced him? It's Cal Freezy the captain. Um, Cal Freezy the captain is back on. Hashtag Reeve the streaker is allegedly trending. I can't believe that's happened, but um, <laughs> what have we done? <laughs> Hashtag Reeve the streaker. Oh, <laughs> Everyone comment on Reeve's latest <laughs> Instagram. Oh. Oh, wait, no, that's a mistake. It's the bird chip. He sets up Chris MD to do some damage. Marcus, Marcus Butler. Butler. He's absolutely in on goal. Oh, oh he's slapped his line. Slithered boys. past the post. He's a little slithery snaky and he's missed the goal. I can't believe it. Marcus Butler must have been seeing stars as he was taking that shot. Look at it once again. How can he miss? How can he miss? Oh, that's how. Can't believe it. Stewart is absolutely shaking his head. He can't believe it. He's livid. What's your name, Mr. Stewart, man? Aaron. 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 Anyways, right, what's going to happen here? Crunch? No. Nope. Thought it was going to be a nasty challenge, but it wasn't. Little Redmond throwing. Minter picks it up, lofts the ball to nobody, and I think that's what they're doing. They're just hitting and hoping a little bit too much. Um, Cal Freezy with a lot of space. Can he make the most of it? Oh, oh. get there, Chip. The burn Chip. Oh. oh, it was a foul. Oh, I want to see him <laughs> cause some damage, mate. I think the burnt Chip could cause some serious damage. He's going to pull something out of the bag. Yeah, I mean, he's got so many tricks in his bag. He's got bags of potential. <laughs> Absolute bags. <laughs> oh, God. He loves it. Okay, so Melody has just texted us. <laughs> Melody has just texted I really thought you were cooler than that, but to give out my name and handle is really low of you. I, I don't deserve this. We didn't give out her handle. Wait, she records that we've, like, given out, like... Yo. This is absolutely She's tried to ridiculous. FaceTime me. Will and E's going to be absolutely outraged. Anyways, right, lofted in by Reeve. Oh, no. Oh, first time shot by Marcus Butler. Boy, Melody's livid. Yeah. <laughs> right.
Oh, well, shout out mum and dad if you're watching at home. Well, your mum and dad? Yeah, you're going to... Oh, shout, shout out mum and Phil. Wait, it's been a cross whipped in. Oh, oh the first, first time, time shot. shot from Marcus Butler. Is it still alive? Oh, oh, oh. little bicycle kick. He didn't quite get over from enough. From Reeve, it? the streaker himself, yeah. attempted the bicycle kick, led to nothing. Look at them scoffing their sandwiches like there's no tomorrow. They want Vic. Oh my, do you hear that? The stadium is chanting, we want Vic, we want Vic. But, oh, oh my God, this geezer's going nuts. What's he been putting in his weight of Vic's? No one knows. However, he wants Vic and is Vic going to answer? Big kick from Morley again. Great kick. Oh, is that a handball that for Willow? like a bit of a handball, but here it is. Toby Jizzle. Hey, the touch Swept let him down. up again. Bang. Hey, that's a bit of a spoon up. Oh, Ooh. Ooh, that was a head collision. Okay, Redmond picks it up. What can he do? Hey, hey, hey. Again, nothing. Well cleared. I think one goal's all it's going to take, and that'll open up the floodgates. Yeah, I mean, you never know. I think a goal from the YouTube All-Stars would force the sidemen to, to have to push a lot more people forward. It's going to be interesting. Wait, wait, what are we waiting for right now? Is it a, a substitution? No, it's a throw. No, no, we have a substitution, I believe. Um, Simon's doing some dance moves. Okay, we have Kalax coming on in a place for Will Any. Um, and I believe Deji is also preparing to come on. Point a good show in the first half. <laughs> All right, and getting lofted in. The ball by Minta. Oh, that looked like it could have been going in, but it's been um, it's been dealt with by the All Stars. Okay, okay so knowledge, I strength, up. and integrity on the ball. Oh, miscontrolled by Casperly, but he has it on the wing. <laughs> What's going through his head? Nothing, absolutely nothing. It's gone out for a throw-in. Who's this? Manny is needing some care by Butler. Um, as it appears, he has a, a case of cramp. Or maybe just these hurt, I don't know. They really want Vic. Sidemen have just made another substitution, I believe. Phil has just tweeted me, hashtag Reeve the streaker. Oh, wait, the, the, light the lights goes. have just gone. Boys and girls, obviously you can't see us, but in our studio, the light bulbs have just blown up. Oh, look, no, now you can see. Now you can see We're us. We're in plunged into darkness. We're in absolute darkness. We have no idea what's going on. Maybe it's a ghost. Maybe. Even that or the Undertaker's entering, but we don't know. Um, anyways, Manny looks to be up and rearing to go once again. Um... But yeah, it feels like we've been waiting for ages. What's going on? I'll tell you what, though, Manny has been doing bits. Yeah, Manny has uh, been causing a bit of havoc, hasn't he? Oh, look, I think... I think... Have they come to replace the light bulb? Oh, they have. Oh, wait! Look at it! It's Marcus Butler! Oh, he's he just, on the edge he's of the just box. standing there. Hey, uh, cheer uh. Oh, Deji! Deji almost making some, mo uh, some moves. But here we have JMX. Is he going to go for something on his own? He is! Hey, and it was absolutely spooned. That was, a, yeah, he's not too proud of that one. But at least he went for it, and that's what I like seeing. Um, I feel like both teams need to just sort of, like, take a few more risks. Oi, well, realistically, boys and girls, um, I did bring out a new song yesterday. Or was it the day before? I don't know. But if you would like to download it, it's called Far From You. Respect to anyone that has downloaded it. Um, 
Elliot. give us the little iTunes preview because obviously we, they can't hear it. So. I can't play it on my phone. No, no, I, I, I want the a cappella version. I, can't, I don't sing in it. Yeah, but you just sing the female vocals. Close to me, bring. No, this sounds Download awful. it now. No, no, no. <laughs> Basically, you're with boys and girls, yeah. Do, do you, is there anything you want to plug quickly? This is our only chance. Uh, just follow me and Joe on all social medias. All right. Anyways, back to the action. We have Ethan. Is he going to come back on? It looks like he's preparing. Off comes number 75. Who's that? Who's 75 is Poet, isn't okay, it? Okay, so Poet has come off for Bazinga. And Bazinga looks like he's going uh, into defence at centre-back. Interesting move there. Lofted up um, from Charlie Morley. Hey, is that a foul? Oh, he's livid. Knowledge, strength and integrity is absolutely livid at his brother Deji. Well, there's a bit of a family feud going on at the pitch. Oh, my. Livid. Look at him. Oh, he's getting livid. Married. Oh, Lord. What actually happened? I can't see it. Oh, to be fair, <laughs> he was absolutely nowhere to, uh, near the ball. He literally just went for his ankles. Anyways, here we are. Simon with the ball in the latter third. Oh, throw in. Who's going to take this? Oh, of course it's Simon. Right, Simon with his vintage throw in. Can he make it work this time? Oh, spooned it in. Oh, oh, it's got to be a goal. It oh. has to be. Oh. oh, I can't believe it, boys and girls. Sergio Aguero, a.k.a. Toby Jizzle, has missed the goal. Yeah, I don't know where I got that from. But Sergio Aguero and no. Toby Jizzle. No, I don't know. They just give them Vic. Yeah, realistically, the fans are, are, are chanting once again for Vic. Just give him to them. Those goggles, I can't, <laughs> I can't get over them, mate. Um, right, Manny. Look at him. Oh, mate, he's it's, it's almost got a, it's like he's got a big spider on his head. Hashtag Spiderhead Manny. Let's get it going. Spiderhead Manny. Yeah. That's why he, he looks like a big spider. Reeve the Streaker and Spiderhead Manny. Yeah. Um, all right. Vujanic looking very, very tasty. <laughs> tasty? No, is it like he looks like he's, he's like in the game. No, so no, no, no. <laughs> so you fancy yourself a bit of Vianic? No, no, I'm saying how he looks like he's ready to play. <laughs> All right, mate. <laughs> <laughs> no, shut up. All right. Anyways, Freezy picks it up. What can Ooh. he do? He's, he's played it, it into Marcus Butler, but he's got no options, and that is what is getting me angry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, we've got, we got side rank, knowledge, strength and integrity on the ball. Oh, it's trickled to Chris MD. Marcus okay. Butler again in a position where he can't pass it to anyone because there's no one there. Mate, no one's making moves. And, and that is what I'm saying about people look a little bit tired. I, I, is that a good ball to Casper Lee? I think it is. He's picked it up. Um, what can he do with it? Oh, he's won a corner. He has won a corner, mate. And that is what I love. That's what Casper will get you. Yeah, it's pretty decent. We want Vic, we want Vic. That is what is ringing around the stadium once again. Just bring him on already. Anyways, it's Chris MD uh, to float the ball in once again for the YouTube All-Stars. He Center does so. The box. Aye, it was met by Marcus Butler, but no, it was Zerka. I believe it was Zerka um, that clears it out for another corner for the YouTube All-Stars. Reeves the streaker by the penalty spot there. Quite a tall lad, Marcus Butler, front post. It's whipped in by Chris MD. 
Hey, that front post yet again, fully marked up by the side men, oh, boys. And Casper's kicked it out. Okay. Oh, we, we mate, we need a goal. Like realistically, yeah. we are all sitting here going. It's been needed for a while, but it's been needed for a solid 65 minutes. Yeah. Oh, solid tackle. Though he's hurt himself. What's happened? What's happened? I missed it. I'm not sure. JMX. Oh, he's, look he's at him. dislocated his shoulder. No, he he's saying, he's, he's no, saying he it's out. It's out. Is he? Has he dislocated his shoulder? No, he hasn't. Oh, Lord. Is that what he thinks? I'm not sure. Wait, I can't believe what No, I think seeing. it is. I think... It... Oh he's popped my. out. He's dislocated his shoulder. Joel, aka JMX FIFA, is having an... You can see he is not in a good place. He is needing to breathe. You can see Zerka calming him down. We believe his shoulder has popped out of place. Someone's going to have to pop that back in. That is grimmers. However, um... The game has come to an absolute halt. The paramedics are rushing in. Uh, uh, they're actually lightly strolling. Oh. Oh, they don't care. <laughs> Mini Minter is ushering them to hurry up, but they continue to walk. Mini Minter is literally screaming at them, and they continue to stroll at a leisurely place, uh, pace while this geezer has his shoulder not currently connected to his skeleton. What a lovely little bit of play that is from the ambulance team. Now, nah, nah, they've got to him now. They're doing a good job. Is it out? Who's like, oh, do we get to witness them pop it back into place? Look at him. It was this. It was like he'd been possessed by some paranormal activity. Look at his eyeballs. It's, like, it's out. It's out. It's like he's gone into a mental asylum and a little ghosty has shouted, JMX, I'm coming for your bottom. And he's got scared by that. That's what it looks like he's, to me. He's in pain. He's but in pain. He's in a sense of shock, I feel, as well. Like, his mind is going off the rails He's right trying now. to get them to run inside, but they're just walking they just, at a leisurely pace. They literally don't care. They're like, yeah, we'll get to it eventually. <laughs> What's going on? Oi. Oh. Oi, it's us again. Oi, what is going on? Hello, everyone. Yeah, for the record, oi. A little insight into what commentators do. They don't actually watch the game. Like, they don't watch it. They watch it on a little TV. So we've got a little TV here. So we're almost like watching it as you do from home. It's quite cool. Anyways, Cal Freezy is on the ball. He's got a great little bit of a, uh, well, great pass to Deji. Can he make the, the most goggles. of it? Oh, that as he, he's got, oh. That looked like it was meant to be a step over, which went horribly uh, wrong. Glitching with an upside down fall. What a bloody name from JME. Clever, I'll give it to him. I wouldn't have thought of it. He's at it again. Big bright boots. It's very serious. There you go. Wait, did that even come in? I think it did. Either that or Chris kicked it out. All right. Just under 20 minutes plus stoppage time left in this uh, Sidemen versus YouTube All-Stars derby. It just is a derby match, isn't it? Like, think about it. Equivalent it to El Clasico. You know what I mean? Better than, I'd Better say. than the internet version. It's just an internet version, you know what I mean? So, it's just a... Uh... Mate, sorry, I, I just lost my train of thought. All I can hear it's... is, we want Vic. But on the other hand, you've also got Simon Miniman around the ball! Oh! Straight into the arms of Hugh Wizzy again. Now, but he's, he did kind of have stuff to do. It was bobbling a little bit, but it didn't trouble the goalkeeper too much. Um, but it's good to finally actually see a shot be, be lit rip. KSI with a little layoff. Mini Minter opens his body from one touch and ah, would have wanted to do better, obviously. We have Castro. Castro is actually, what well, he's come back on from an injury. Well, that is Castro, in it? Yeah, it is. He was injured. But, what um, was his injury again? I oh, he know. hurt his foot or something. Yeah. 
Anyways, the, the Simon boys linking up well here. They're passing it about. A little bit of tiki tacker. Spider head Manny. Oh. It's all right, though. Chrissy MD. Oh, With a, a ball. solid ball. Castro's not fast enough. Unnecessary. Unnecessarily entirely. Why did he do that? He didn't need to do that. No. I, th I think he must have thought Castro was a lot closer than he was. Yeah. Oh, and it's thrown straight to Marcus Butler. Can he make anything of it? He's got no one really in support. Um, Chris MD just entering the box. Okay, Castro, you've got to whip that inside. Nah, he hasn't. Well, he has, but he's absolutely sloughed it. Whatever. Sloughed it. Yeah, I don't know I why. I like I'm... it. Yeah, it's sloughed. Sidemen must be getting a bit nervous at this point. The fact is, they need a goal to draw. They need two to win. Currently, it's not looking like they're getting anything. Chris MD with a bit of pace. Come on, son. Do your mother proud. Oh, and he's, is it a goal kick? He's dribbled it's it a out goal for a kick. goal kick. Yeah. Look at him, he smiles deep down, he's crying. I actually really rate the kits as well. Like, I prefer the, the All-Stars kit, but they're, they're sick. Well, uh, I didn't realize the sponsor, like the mummy, I thought like, the sidemen banterously stitched up the All-Stars by having Mummy on their shirts, but I didn't realise it was the film. Which, there is also a competition to enter. Oh yeah, indeed there is. By the way, we will mention right now that all you have to do to, uh, to enter this competition to win two tickets to the premiere of the Mummy film is tweet at Sidemen FC. Uh, yeah, tweet at Sidemen FC with hashtag the Mummy and who you think um, is the man of the match uh, for this match, basically. Yeah, um, we just do it. Yeah. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait, I need to emphasize this the UK premiere. It's not like in bloody Kenya, it's the UK, just to be clear. So, yeah, just just tweet us, well, tweet at the side men FC um, with hashtag the mummy and who you think is going to be the man of the match to be in with a chance. Who do you reckon it? It is so far. Well, but no, because they have to guess who we're going to pick. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, well, I, I, I'm I, not going to say anything yeah, else so we then. Yeah, can, so we can't reveal. You have to guess who we're going to pick. Oi, oi, what's this? Comfortably taken by Hugh Wizzy. I mean, what is that hair? Like, imagine waking up every morning having to deal with that. I bet it's an absolute bloody travesty. Is that a word? He's always got it perfectly round, though, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's always got it on, on fleek. Right, what's going on here? JME, aka Glitchy. KSI to Simon Miniminter. Oh. What's he going to put out the bag? He's got oh. some skills. It's gone to KSI, and he's rubbish. No, he's not. No, he is. Josh Peters pushing his way up. He's probably getting a bit frustrated at the back. Oh, Deji's got to be sent off at this point. He's fouling for fun. The goggles, they're sending him off the rails. He always goes into tackles backwards. Yeah, it's like he, <laughs> just like, what's he up to? Okay, but the game has restarted. Ay oh. Is it going to get to Simon Miniman? Uh, it's not, but it will come out to Vianic. Oh! Skillsies! Oh! oh. Nothing comes of that, but it, uh, ooh, very naughty language. Oh, sorry, really been a very frustrated at that point. Um, but yeah, it's all right. They are getting frustrated. You can see that in the sidemen aura. Because they, they're in desperate need of a goal. Yeah, man, they're technically, they are the home team. They've got their fans um, out in force here, and they are, they're, not, they're not delivering thus far. Facts. Freezy intercepting that. Casper kicked it out again. Right, you've got JME. Man don't care about all that. Isn't that cool? JME, he's just here. Like, he's a rapper. I don't know. It's just cool that he's part of this. I bust integrity all the time, mate. Yeah, he's got a great set of songs. Anyways, T Money. He has bulldozed his way through. What's he done ah, there, then? You can see he was trying to go for the Yanich, I believe, but absolutely fluffed that that ball p money also a rapper yeah this also a rapper the Janic picks it up wide right he's got a screaming run from 
Red man. Trying to get past he's Callum. lofted it through to. What can he make of it? Nothing. Oh. He's appealing for handball. He's absolutely livid. Boy, look at him. Calm down. But he, he's obviously very Castro convinced. on the ball. Pushing it forwards. Sorry. Oh. Elliot, Elliot, mate. I, oh, that was out of nowhere. Nah, but they, um, they do seem to be uh, pushing on further, the Simon boys, in terms of attacking play. Is that, a, is that a substitution I see? I believe it is. Ollie White. Ollie White coming on. Raring to go. Who came off? Who came I'm off? I'm not entirely sure, mate. We've got some geezer trying to take a selfie. Oi. Was it Casper Lee, I believe? I think it might have been Casper. Has Kallux come off? Or is he just. I don't know, he's taking some... water. Also a rapper. Kallux is also a rapper, yeah. <laughs> Good. What's going on? I don't know, this happened a few times, but we are uh, resuming a play right now. Yet again, I don't think that went on. I, that, didn't come, that didn't come on. Oh, it's definitely on now, it's the P money. Chris MD. The Alexis Sanchez of the squad, I'd say. Okay, okay, Marcus Butler. Harry cleared it up yeah. again. <laughs> Mate, I'm telling you, Harry is he is a solid, solid guy. Is his shoulder back in, JMX? They popped it back in. He's ready, he's ready to come back on. <laughs> I can't believe it, mate. He previously looked like he was in a state of shock. As though his pet bloody antelope had just been slaughtered, but he's now back in the game. He's telling some girl hello, the story hello, about Hello, it's little boy, Marcus Butler, that was tackled by Manny. And Manny is now away. <laughs> to no avail, as Josh Peters sweeps it up. Josh Peters been very solid this entire yeah, match. he really has. He's been all over the gaff, making those interceptions. Ah, uh, unlucky from Cal Freezy. Castro, yet again, coming in to his little friend, Chris MD. I believe that might have been a foul. I don't, he didn't get any of the ball, and all he did was hurt Chris MD. Oh, some mum just got livid at okay. us. Because we wouldn't take a photo with, his, with their child, but we're commentating. Oh my later. God, there's a streaker. There's a bloody nut job on the pitch. What's he doing? There's a streaker. Is he going to get naked? I don't think so, he's just running. Useless excuse for a streaker. Okay, what's he doing? Oh, and Zerka! He's whipping out an RKO out of nowhere. JME comes in with the clothesline from hell. Okay, I can't believe that. Anyway, boys and girls, this game so far, it's, it's been looking like it is going to open up at any point, but it is not. Do you it's, know what I mean? It always, it's, it's always promising coming up to the edge of the box and then someone clears it. Yeah, it's like you almost kind of would wish that the defences weren't as solid, but the fact is that both defences have displayed um, a good performance thus far. You know what I mean? Um, frustrating, but what can you do? Hopefully, I mean, we're in the 82nd minute. We've got eight minutes plus stoppage time remaining. Um, but you just never know. I mean, it may end up being 76-48 at this... Nah, what am I going with? I don't know. But <laughs> I don't know. Nah, it's not going to end up being that. But if Sidemen if side get um, if side get a goal back... I mean, does it go to penalties? Does it go to extra time and penalties, do we know? Surely they can't leave it at a draw. They can't leave it at a draw. Something will yeah, happen. No, they, yeah, there's got to be something that happens. Oh, are we lining up for a triple substitution? They're bringing in the big guns. Vicstar, Ethan and KSI look like they're ready to come on, but we're not sure. Hoisted up the pitch. It's Simon Minter. Oh, okay, oh. now that is what I call a bit of skills, these boys. He's, He's lofting it in. Hey, hey, hey. The keeper taken out, it looks like, by uh, Toby Jizzle in agony. Dealt with though by Hugh Wizzy, yeah, man, very solid I'm, keeper. That's one thing I will say about him, he puts himself about, he's never scared uh, to get physical. Look at that, crunch, 
Didn't really hit him though, did he? Yeah, he's alright in that. He's, he's alright now. Did he? Right, let's have a, look, a little bit closer. Oh, Chris MD. Oh my! Chris MD has picked the ball up. Out of nowhere, the All Stars are like, no side, Ben. You're not going to have any more attacks. We're coming at you with bloody Castro on the ball. Can Castro. he get the one-two? Chris MD. Chris MD has pulled it back. No one in the box. Oh, Deji. 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 Oh. oh! I can't believe it. Realistically, the only geezer that doesn't really play football ever was left oh, with a golden opportunity. I couldn't believe that, mate. Um, but here we have Josh Teeters. Oh my, he's been solid all game, but that was nothing near solid. It's Manny to pick up a little bit of skill to, uh, to Toby Jizzle. Um, but a big boy, Ooh. Scottish. This is bad knee. This is bad knee. Cal Freezy getting in there. Odd man Freezy is what we call him down south, because he does stuff like that. Not scared to intercept. Rates on, rating on the air cut. Kind of works. It kind of works. <laughs> Jesus. That looked like a hurt, but. Ready? I'll tell you, it's there. Little kick on the knee. His bad knee. Freeze has been serious all game. Yeah, man. He wants to see this out. He really does. And that, that's what I said from the beginning. Cal Freezy really, before the game, looked really focused. He was really enforcing his vision on his players in the dressing room. The Simon guys, they were dancing about. They were sort of not really seeming as focused as the All-Stars. Um, but you never know. On one hand, oh, my. What? what it can't be. It's Deji. That boy keeps finding himself in very promising positions. But he, the, the end product has not showed up thus far. Thus far, not. Poet driving it forwards. I can imagine he's getting frustrated. Yeah, man. Very passionate. Mini Winter. Again, cleared at the edge of the box. Sidemen really, really getting. You can see that they're wanting to win this, and the time is getting on. Time is getting on. They do not have long left. They've, they, won, they've got to score a goal. They have to score yeah, a goal. Yeah, man. They've got to risk everything at this point. They need to chuck everyone up. Um, I believe. Are they making that triple substitution? No. Oh, no, no. They've already made that, haven't they? No, no, no. The, the boys are still waiting, I think. Calix has just come on. Calix has four. just come on. Someone else. And the ball whipped in by Mini Minta. Ay, 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 Vujanic had the chance to steer that in. Blocked. Also remember the whole reason we're here. This is a charity event for Childline. If you, like, we, we encourage you to donate anything you Sorry, can. Sorry, mate. Easy. I couldn't see that because the screen was playing something else, but I believe there was a golden opportunity just then for the Sidemen boys. But yeah, as you were saying about, about the donation process, yes. make sure you get involved, boys and girls, because that is the reason that these events are happening. So do it. It's for a great cause, Childline. Uh, the links are in the description. And here we have Chrissy MD, AKA, I don't know, the young boy of the South. He's number 10 and he's bottled it because Manny has picked it up and he's steaming forwards. Instant burst of pace. Redmond carries it on, Mini Minter, and now it's Toby Chisel. he's worked some space. Peters putting in a solid tackle, stopping that attack. says yeah. don't run on the pitch yeah because basically apparently well 
at these other charity matches, at the end of the game, all the fans like run on the pitch. Um, that's what's happened like thus far. And apparently, well, just then they announced, please stay in your seats so that we can do the the ceremony, like the trophy ceremony afterwards, which obviously will not be be able to happen. It didn't last year. Yeah, because of the health and safety. Obviously, once everyone's run on the pitch, so everyone just stay in your seat, mate. As you can see, great scenes of the valley here at Charlton Athletic. Full to the brim. Lofted in. Oi, oi, oi. The sidemen, mate, they are pushing, aren't they? It's been all sidemen um, in, the, in these later stages. Obviously, they're the ones that are chasing the goal. They're in desperate need of a goal. They've got one minute plus added time. Can they do it? Oh, my. Who's found himself free? It's Chris MD. Is he one-on-one? -on -one? He's got JME to beat. And he's done it onto his left foot. It's Chris Unbelievable. MD. What a goal, son. The what a goal. All -Stars. I can't believe that Chris MD has absolutely won it for the All-Stars. He's put it to bed. Two oh. goals for the YouTube All-Stars. Who saw that coming? Oh. It was all side men. Hit him on the counter-attack. Chris MD has won them the match. I it's very not. difficult for the sidemen to come back from this. Mate, I could not believe it. The entire team has gone racing over to the young boy from Jersey. He's been putting in the work, making those football goals, uh, football videos with the likes of Hector Bellerin. And it, it's paid off. Look at it. Takes it with his head. He's got three defenders to get past. Shifts it on his left. Beats JME and slots it in the back of the net. He'll be what? watching that on repeat for the next two weeks. What a gorgeous young boy he is. Lovely better play. Stunning. Fantastic oh. finish. Not a single goal for the Sidemen FC so far. YouTube All Stars 2 0. Oh, mate. I'm happy for the boy. He puts it. Look at that little look on his face. He knows. He knows. I am a YouTube legend. And he has just cemented it. Sidemen so will have to pull out something incredible. Bruh, they've they just got to put everyone in attack. Like, oh. Everyone's got to go forwards. It's the only option. They're still very static. <laughs> Not much movement. <laughs> I think they're tired, bro. Like, I honestly. Oh, was that a bit of a, a little swinging haymaker from the Reeve? Swiping at Vianic. But here we go. The long throw from Mini Minter. Can he get anything back for the Sidemen boys with this? It's lofted in. What's he going to do? Comfortable. Comfortable for Hugh Wizzy. I assume he's now going to take his time. The, the All-Stars, they, realistically, I'm going to say, overall, they have deserved this. And it brought, mate, it's time for us to choose our man of the match. It is that time. Is it? Wait, who do we think? I oh, don't know. We should probably ask the man who tells us to do everything. Wait. Let no. me ask him. Nah, bruv, we have to decide. We decide. We decide. Now? Yeah. Okay. Who, who do you think? Right, I'm going to say man of the match. I'm going to go for Josh Peters. Josh Peters? I think he's been very solid at the back. He's stopped a lot of sidemen opportunities. You know what, mate? I, I am going to have to agree with you. I, I, I will say that Harry has been absolutely incredible. I'd agree. I'd but agree. But he's, he, he's letting two goals, like defensively... A, We've got to give it to his opposition in the same position, Josh Peters. He has been sublime. And, mate, I couldn't agree more. Solid player. Our man of the match, boys and girls, Josh Peters. But this ball being lofted in. Aye, aye, aye. I must say, I wouldn't have expected beforehand for me to be saying Josh Peters is the man of the match. But I didn't know his footballing ability <laughs> No, mate, we this. didn't. I mean, we saw him. Dark horse. We saw him pinging in free kicks uh, in the warm-up. But I didn't think defensively he was going to be this solid. This And that composed on the ball which he has been. So, congratulations, mate. You've done the boys proud. Are we going to see any more goals this game? I don't know. Are the sidemen going to bag anything? I don't know, mate. Here we have JMX, the All-Stars. They're running riot. They can afford to put people forwards now. They've got a safety net. And Peters, yet again, to take care of business what's he going to do breeze is past toby jizzle uh, that was tactical he knows he's won the throwing he doesn't he doesn't he doesn't need to to exert any energy the boys now of the all-stars can just run down this clock to secure the win there is a substitution being made though 
Vic. Vic. Vic is coming on and the place has erupted. The place has gone absolutely ballistic and he's soaking it in the young boy. Maybe he's the difference they need to bag a goal. Yeah, maybe he is. The fans have been charting it all game. Is it a bit too late? Foul throw, sorry, that was, I don't know about Very that. limp. Yeah, there we have Kallux, lofted it in to Chris, Chris MD. Oh, oh, what a save by Charlie Morley. He could have bagged a second goal of the game. I must say, Chris as well play, played very good this game. Yeah, very, very, very good. Very good. As to be expected, yeah. always puts in oh a good my. show. Chris MD, no, it's Deji. <laughs> Josh Peters. Josh Peters. Oh, Josh, Josh Peters. Peters! Go on, Josh! Oh. oh! That would have been the icing on the cake yeah, for Josh Peters. That would have been, mate. Oh, I couldn't believe it. Another corner. Oh, look at Zerker. He's living. He's the one that's organised this whole thing, and he's lost. Well, almost. Chris MD to whip it in. Oh, to Deji. Deji. What can Deji do? Absolutely nothing. And JMD has picked it up. And Who's he set away? Oh, not a very good ball. Um, Hugh Wizzy to get rid. JME. Chris, I mean, no, it's Mini Winter. What can he do? It's, it's fixed there. there. It's One, two, fit. three. It's Toby Jizzle. It's Big Big Oh, my boys. That's that it. Is, that is the full time whistle. Oh, what an end to the game. Almost Vic star. Ha. And oh, no, people are running on the pitch. Wait, does that mean that now the, the after ceremony is not going to take place? Oh, bunch of losers, mate. Geeks. Get off the You're pitch. You're all geeks. I can't believe it. Basically, all these little youngsters are now swarming the pitch. What are you, like, what's wrong with you? But we sh <sighs> Overall, it was a very good game. It was a lot tighter than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, man. I mean, we predicted many goals. What was my prediction? Like 17 10. Um, it didn't quite get to that. It was two goals um, for the boys in red. And shock, I've been taken out of the team, so therefore we win. I mean, it's classic, isn't it? I don't it? think that's what, what's caused them to get the win, mate. I feel like I hold them back, you know. I think. I don't know. Anyways, right. We are looking at the highlights now, though. There you go, a thumping challenge. But overall, this game has been... It's been full of moments. Like, the play, the play has been very intense throughout. There was never a point where, I don't know, there was much space for people. There wasn't much room for, for flair and skills. But at the end of the day, the boys grinded it out. And um, I'm happy for them. You know, after last year's destruction... It okay. does make it interesting going forwards. We've had a win from the Sidemen and we've had a win from the YouTube yeah. All-Stars. They're all level. Yeah, exactly. Like, I thought, you know, well, many people thought it was going to be another whitewash from the from the Sidemen boys, but there you go. They've replied. Yeah, they've absolutely replied with a big statement. And it's like, well, on to the next one, which I, I, I'm sure there will be. Well, it has to be now, because we need to know who's the better team. Yeah, exactly. Um, Obviously here, KSI, he, he was actually Solid. more skillful than I, than I thought in this game. Like he, he was doing little tricks and turns which looked like they were going to lead to something, but didn't. Um, but yeah, there you go, mate. Deji, he was a nut job. I don't know what he had in his cereal. He was just, I mean, what sort of challenges was he pulling out? Like flipping, he was doing half flamingo dancing, half bloody American football with his challenges. I couldn't work it out myself. Oh my God, look. Yeah. Absolute Manny scene. and Toby. They uh, wanted two of the more solid players. So, um, boys, at the end of the day, what a game. <laughs> oh, my God, there was absolute scenes. Um, absolute scenes. No, it's not. Look, Chris MD, this was 
a moment. He's yeah. going to remember this for a long time. Yeah, that was, it was almost reminiscent. It reminds me of, uh, obviously, when Malfoy scored his goal against the Wembley Cup. It was a great solo effort. Um, he had a lot to do, and he did what he needed to do. I believe he's not a left-footed player either, and to shift that onto his left foot and slide it in the back of the net, it was, it was great play, realistically. It's very um, decent from Chris. Yeah, man, very, very solid. Uh, but yeah, boys and girls, what a day! Like, what a day! I can't believe. Yet again, when we think like this is this is YouTube, like this is us just making videos by ourselves with a camera, turning into mental days like this. Like, it just it's sick. Like, and the fact that mate, we've been a part of it. Like, I'm, I'm. What's the word? When you like, just really appreciate it. Really. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah, honestly, obviously, it's the first time that me and Elliot have done any sort of like commentating <laughs> like this live. Like, coming into it, I was worried what I was going to say, but um, hopefully we did all right and weren't too annoying to listen to. <laughs> okay. All right, anyways, boys and girls, we have just had word in our ear holes that we have got to wrap this up. So, uh, yeah, we do hope you have enjoyed. It's been a great day for YouTube. Um, and obviously the Simon boys and all of us involved, really. Definitely, definitely. Um, have uh, you, it's have been you a lot enjoyed of fun. it, mate? It's been a lot of fun. I've enjoyed it. Uh, it's it's just amazing what power YouTube has yeah. now, especially the Sidemen. What they can do is incredible. It is nutty. It is incredible. Anyways, boys and girls, hope you have enjoyed it. Until next time, I've been Weller. I've been Elliot. And we will see you next time. Peace. Bye.